damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet shit. What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. <laughs> Should be thanking you, Kakarot. Nah, what do you mean? I loved every minute. <laughs> Goodbye, my friend. Nergerotic.com Oh,
What's up? Everybody. Uh, you know me, I'm a massive Dragon Ball Z fan. So <laughs> I had uh, Perry How put many that Dragon together. Balls are there? Uh, uh, 69. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, sell or freeze it, Gary. Sell or freeze it. Like yeah, what's I, your favorite pod, Gary? I like all the Dragon Balls, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I like all the dragons. I, there's dragons in it, right? That, that was like what the whole, least. like, there were so many people in the chat today on GNG Daily talking about RIP, Toriyama, and all this stuff. I'm like, I have, like, obviously has a profound effect on so many people. I've literally mm. never seen a single episode of Dragon Ball Z or, or uh, anything. No. But uh, obviously a big impact uh, on a lot of different people. All right. Yeah. All right. Am I the, one of the only resident big Dragon Ball Z fans here? No, I'm a big, oh, I'm a big fan well. too. I loved Howl's Moving Castle. I was <laughs> I've seen it many times. Well, at least that's anime, so I guess you're kind of uh, yeah. in the ballpark. I, I used guess. to watch it on Toonami back in the day. No, but... that, 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 was yeah, an, yeah. that was an intro brought to you by uh, uh, an editor who loves Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z, <laughs> Perry Chan. Yeah, well man. done, brother. Thank you. Very well done. But he likes because he looks like the characters. Well, yeah, he's genuinely... himself in the storytelling. Right. Genuinely, Dragon Ball Z rocks. Massive shame that the guys passed away. So, yeah, you know, yeah. Rest yeah. in peace. Um, is there still no. an ongoing like story for that that he's involved in at all or anything? Or it gets convoluted. Like, like as soon as because I, I know GT got kind of yeeted and they restarted and they're working on mm. World Tour and all the all the other things Super. and. And I haven't even gotten into any of the new stuff. I'm still just OG Dragon Ball Z fan and, and the original films and, and stuff. Uh, but there's a lot of new stuff coming out. And I did watch um, one of the recent ones, and it, it was actually pretty good, you know? Really My only action. reference is the American film, I, which I thought was a fantastic film. <laughs> <laughs> Burn in hell, shame, shame on you, Gary. Shame Get out of here. Is that not? Okay. Oh, speaking of... I thought this of, was a safe place. Speaking of, dra <laughs> of dragon balls, uh, mm. I, I'm in my 34th week of pregnancy, and my baby's balls are descending this week. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Nice. You're welcome, ladies. Uh, that's incredible. That's uh, that's 45 years ahead of John Campius. So amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> wow. Also, happy International Women's Day and uh, Jeremy's birthday and Mrs. Nerdotic's birthday. Yeah. Yay. 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 Two women's birthdays. There's a amount of women. Two people are into day. men in the same day. <laughs> <laughs> woke, woke. That was a little late with that clip. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hunted, <laughs> Rob. I hunted for that clip. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we got a good show. There's actually a lot to talk about. Uh, Zack Snyder was on Joe Rogan, uh, and that was actually yeah. an interesting conversation. We got a little insight into Zack Snyder's approach towards uh, heroism, which I thought was insightful. Uh, so we'll go over that. Uh, di I mean, there's just always Disney stuff, I guess. Uh, the vote's coming up. We could talk about that. Uh, a another Marvel character has been made into a chick. Uh, no word yet on whether she's gay, but I'm just going to assume it. Is. Yes, a yeah. 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 chick. It's not even a Gary, question. get it right. Oh, sorry. What else? There's so much else. I can't even remember right now. Uh, but Sweet Baby Stink. Oh, yeah, yeah. that. Uh, mm -hmm. Dune Report back. Doing pretty well. Uh, Rings of Power. Hollywood, more strikes possibly coming down the pike. Oh yeah, pretty good, pretty good spot. And there's a comic book coming out, I think, on Monday. I oh, heard yeah. there's a rumor. The rumor, oh, right? Yeah, there oh, is. Yeah. You hear the horse <laughs> for the Ripper birth. We heard winter was coming, and well, at least there was ten days left when it came out. So. <laughs> Sometimes winter takes more like, takes it's more like sprinter come. right now, but uh, <laughs> winter was coming. Oh. It had nothing to do with George R R George R R R. Yeah, it's this is, there's a lot of women on this show. Is this just because it's International Women's Day? This is like three yes. times the normal yes. amount. <laughs> I'm, I'm, very I'm personally it. disgusted. Welcome yes. to Friday and Night Tits. Jeremy's Jeremy's not even here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jeremy couldn't be. You're too misogynist. Well, no, he's celebrating <laughs> International Women's Day. 
That's yeah. what he's doing. Yeah. Jimmy By celebrating himself. International Women's yes. Day every single year. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Every single year. That's this actually is, a fact as well. Made it a tradition, we could say. Yes. Uh, he celebrated today by literally every super chat calling him gay as shit for his birthday. <laughs> 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 you know, it's funny. He's probably not listening. Uh, my wife sent him a birthday card. So she's all signed the birthday card, and I just put, you're gay. <laughs> and <I> signed- <laughs> That's how I hope he gets it. Uh, what's up, Az? Hi. How you doing? It's been a fun, quiet week. Nothing at all happening whatsoever. Really? Oh, I, I, hey, I appreciate all of your preparation before the show today. <laughs> as Are you is really, as? as is really serious about his job. His preparation was looking at his eyelids uh, and me having to wake him up for the show. <laughs> Yeah, we were ready, just for the record, we were ready to rock and roll like several minutes before 4 Eastern, yep. and everyone's like, wait, where's Az? <laughs> yeah, Az, you look like you I was sorry, here. so I, I gotta be honest with you, I've been burning the candles at both ends, I've been doing a lot of work recently, and my body clock had adjusted to Gary's time. <laughs> so you should have been awake then. There you go, yeah, no, you should have been awake. Prison. Yeah, awake, Wait. but very late at all times. <laughs> Gary, like you woke Chrissy's in two people up eight today. Eight months ago, just very late. Yeah, I did. I, I woke up. <laughs> I woke you yes. up at, at the crack of noon, and I woke uh, Az up at three. Oh, <laughs> thanks. These are like your teenage children. <laughs> <essentially>. <laughs> I didn't even know what time it was when you called me. Come on, mate. Happy birthday. Let's just be honest. This is like the least most professional thing we ever do every week. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. Yeah, has has been quiet around your area, uh, and uh, I think you've kind of said all, uh, about all yeah, that. Yeah, I've, I've said everything I need to say. Yeah, done everything I need to and, do. And and Ackman has said everything he needs to say too, <laughs> and done everything <laughs> he needs to do. Day. Shout out to our man Mauler, by the way. Shout yeah, out shout out to Mauler. Oh, bro. No good deed goes, goes unpunished. unpunished. That's unpunished. right. Yeah, unfortunately. Uh, what's up, uh, Ryan? How you doing? I'm doing good. Just grinding away. Same shit, different week. Sweet Baby <laughs> Inc. is uh, fucking taking over all of our lives right now. So, other than that, I'm doing good. Well, I, it's, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm really getting ready for next week because obviously next week is the week we've all been waiting for. Oh, is it next week or the week after? No, it's, it's, uh, it, I got my tickets, bro. It's I next need to get my oh, tickets. I got oh, my tickets. The American Society, Society of Magical oh. Negroes. That's right. Oh. I got my tickets. The American Society of Magical Negroes. Uh, on, <laughs> it, I need to bring that <laughs> clip to the theater. So when I buy the tickets, I can just play that and just say, can I have Wait, tickets for? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I, I've got it marked on my calendar. Ryan, I'm right there with you. I got a 5 o'clock show at uh, on the 14th on Thursday. Right, so there's a. But it won't come on till like five (laughs) thirty. Yeah. (laughs) Canceled again. Uh, Well, I mean, uh, really get me black Twitter. (laughs) Time is racist. Exactly. I can. One side has been very explicit about telling me that being on time is white supremacy. So you know, you're just that you're just following with what they're teaching. Yep. All That's right. why I was late today. Okay. Sure. Because I'm an ally. But yes. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm late to everything. I'm obviously an ally. Well, uh, you were in prison, so you're kind of an honorary <laughs> member anyway. Uh, yeah, this is true. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, what's up, Shad? <laughs> hey, what's up, Gary? You know, this week has been fun. Twitter has been fun. And, uh, and uh, then we've also got, yeah, the Sweet Baby Inc. Gamer 2.0. That, like, that is just... Gamergate, you mean? Yeah. Gamergate, sorry, yeah, Gamergate. It's funny, it's, it's funny that Dan Vasquez... Gamer, which... Gamer, right? <laughs> yeah. Dan Vasquez would say Gamergate 1. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, gamers. It's come for you. Uh, 
you know, welcome gamers. Back, you know, back in the original Gamergate, I like I was an observer and I only kind of caught the tail end, but that was just before I really started my channel. In fact, is it the 10 years ago we're talking about, right? So started being uh, online uh, about eight, nine years ago. And so this time around, I'm I'm kind of in the thick of it, just you know, being able to put videos out there, call out this crap, and it is fun because Th th it's different this time. Oh yeah, um, it's uh, minus Zoe it's Quinn and her actual body count. <laughs> yes, it's minus that. But also, the game journals, they got no relevance at all, no credibility, and they're just getting called out, and Sweet Baby Inc. is getting exposed. And by the way, Sweet Baby Inc., that's just the tip of the iceberg. There are a lot of companies mm -hmm. doing that, and mm -hmm. ultimately it goes down into the people that are in these game companies doing it, the, the, the writers and everything. And the fact that there is such great pushback, and the hope is, my hope anyway, is to truly send a, a very loud you know, unmissable message that no one wants this crap. Well, We've been saying what, it for ages. What's funny about Sweet Baby Inc. is they're a third-party company because the woke idiots who are within those companies are too lazy to be woke. So they yeah. need to outsource their work. <laughs> yeah, well, they want to be. Bad, they want to be an ally. They want to. They want to be on the message, but yeah. they really don't care. Most people don't give a crap about this, except the most yeah. insane activists, which is why they make the consulting groups, and then and then they they threaten. They say, "Oh, wouldn't it be a shame if your game was called sexist? Uh, yeah. uh, maybe you can hire me." So it's a full on racket. They're thugs, and they're getting exposed. And I'm just along for the ride, calling it out, and it's been heaps of fun. Excellent. Hi, Chris. Just imagine getting. I'm sorry. Just Hello. imagine getting a company and to say, "How do we be woke?" <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that Sweet Baby Inc. is based in Montreal. Mm. Uh, in my no. world, sorry. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry. Canada has a lot yeah, to explain. Canada, Canada, you know, yeah. Canada, my Canada, my favorite news of the week. Uh, was seeing the Montreal Just for Laughs very woke comedy festival uh, file Ooh. for bankruptcy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, it very much mattered as a festival, you know, obviously pre social media. And it mattered when I first got into stand up like 2010, 2011. But the last few years, it's just been like, it's the same management and agencies churning out the like, here's our hot comics to watch. And they're pushing the same people year after year. It was just, I know I'm having a little bit of a, what's my people's word? Schadenfreuden. I'm, I'm a Schadenfreude. Schadenfreude. <laughs> My people's hail, hail wow. bankruptcy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey, no. uh, I'm back. Um, and uh, yeah, very excited to present an award at the Grifties this Saturday. Uh, is it Saturday? It's Saturday, it's, it's tomorrow at the place I got pepper sprayed the other week. So, <laughs> oh, nice. I'll be great! Home. Oh, yeah, I'll be back with a not a gas mask. Memory. So. Forgot to order one. I'm excited. We're living life. Life is all about experiences. Yes, it is. Yeah, Isn't not it? too many people have had the pleasure at seven months pregnant to be pepper sprayed in yeah, the face. Yeah, how many people can so, say that? You're, you're breaking barriers, Chrissy. <laughs> it was the area. Job. It was uh, Chrissy. Do you think yeah. your baby's gonna get superpowers from that? I just need to know as a comic book fan. I mm. I would like that. Yeah. I, I I hope it's super racism. <laughs> <laughs> Was the person who did it black or what? We don't know. There were no cameras in the area. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Well, thank you, Chrissy. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was enlightening. Yeah, it was. I'm gonna come out as Homelander. Yeah. Yeah. What's up, Quarter Black? <laughs> hey, what's up? Hey, sweet baby Inc. It's great to see uh, Gamergate 2.0. Gamers still based. Still don't want any of this shit. Uh, I would like to present to you. Uh, the casualty of Gamergate World War One, uh, Anita Sarkeesian. Oh, <laughs> she had a, for her, a, a single oh. wedding for oh herself on her God. birthday. So there's and silver yeah. linings everywhere, guys. Just, just yeah. to explain this, this is she's this is not her getting married. This is her this birthday is... party, which was wedding themed. Yeah, because oh she knows God. she's never getting married, so it's she yeah. experienced it. Oh, Lapping, lapping, sad. getting married. Wow, she's gonna die alone. Oh, Man, that so is so fucking sad. sad. It is yeah. too sad. People, mm. people came dressed as divorce lawyers. Oh, that just sounds wonderful. That sounds wonderful. That was a good joke. 
Gosh, <laughs> no, it's, that wasn't well, a joke. That actually what happened. I, I know. Oh, really? <laughs> you give yeah. me too much credit, Carrie. You give me too much. No, you can no. still it, hit the drums because it's, it's hilarious. One thing if you as yeah. a single gal put on a nice dress, have a party, whatever, have people over, dress up your cats in something fancy, but to put on a white gown and do the oh. walk, that screams like, oh, I think I missed out. Desperation. Yeah. It really yeah. does. She even she had bad. like a, a bridal party beforehand and and, and stuff. And they had yeah. a bachelorette, bachelorette party. party. Bachelorette party. Like that. Like, that. Wow. Yes. The whole thing. The whole wow. thing. All in one oh. day. So. My God. It. <laughs> I'm so glad that there are no sort of markers for mental illness with her. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, who would have thought that being a feminist would end up making you lonely <laughs> and sad and lonely? Sad. And yeah. sad. Chad, and you just, you just made me realize unmarried. massive fucking feminazi actually role plays being a happy woman. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just for one day. <laughs> <laughs> wow! And the key to having oh, a spirit no. chance. Uh, <laughs> oh, no. It does play. <laughs> uh, she could put this photo oh, no. right next oh, to the photo of her playing video games, and they're both things that she's never going to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. She's the Wolverine meme. She's on the bed holding the fucking photo, <laughs> and it's, but she's looking at a picture of her in a wedding dress and happy. Oh, somebody it's truly. That. I, I mean. This is so ironic because her her side of feminism has been attacking marriage as a you know terrible institution that yep. enslaves women and stuff like that. And then it all oh, look look what you really want in life. You know, look I'd almost feel out. sorry for her, except. <laughs> <laughs> hey. I was wondering where that was going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, the universe oh. tends to unfold as it should. It really does. Uh, it only cost us our culture and everything we love, but yeah, we're, we were right. Hey. Hey, nice us. <laughs> hey. Oh, thanks, Garrett. Uh, 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 Odin, what's up? What's up? I was so sad to have missed the Dune talk last week, but uh, oh man, Chani, that the whole character, the whole character change for her, still, still, still makes me mad. But the box office is doing pretty well. It's not going to do as well as Oppenheimer, but it'll still do pretty well, I think. I think it's doing. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's the Oppenheimer was helped by Bar by Barbie. Barbenheimer. Yeah, yep. the yeah, Barbenheimer the effect. It, that, it was it, also helped by the fact it was released summer. in the summer as in well. In the summer, you're, yeah, right. During, you're right. During the week, you're going to get much bigger tallies in the summer yeah, than you yeah. do in March. Yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Well, so we'll see what this weekend holds. It's going to be interesting. Th this is yeah, a week, week two. Oh, go on. Week, week, week two, uh, Oppenheimer was at $400 million worldwide, and it's looking like this one might be closer to maybe 300 So it's not too far, it's like technically, no. but. Yeah. Like March. This is a loaded March. It's kind of weird yeah. because, and and my theory based on absolutely nothing is these are all delayed movies and they needed to get it out in the next quarter possible uh, instead of waiting till summer. Because like Ghostbusters should have waited till summer. Like that's mm -hmm. pretty dumb. Yes. Uh, yeah. Releasing it in March. Uh, but, you know, especially with the competition of the American society of magical Negroes. I mean, that's just oh. going to crush it. <laughs> Everyone's seeing that. Every wait to say content that so creator. Million dollars. Well, Kung Fu, don't sleep on Kung Fu Panda 4. That thing's going to be pretty Oh, it's big, probably going to do well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm taking I mean, my kids this week. They, oh, God, thank God I don't have to see those movies anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the first one's good. It's all right. The, the first one's good, yeah. My, my kids were young when the first one came out. And now they're like true. adults. <laughs> so I don't and have to watch Jack those anymore. Jack Black feels like he's exactly the same age. So uh, <laughs> he's, getting, uh, he's getting a little puffy, but, uh, you know. Same he's energy, got his though. energy though. Same okay. energy. I don't know energy. He's, he's yeah. entering his Santa Claus phase. He's got he's I got his him. TDS. <laughs> he's got his TDS. He's got his energy. That's good. Did you uh, see his "Hit Me, Baby" one more time? Cover? Yeah, yeah, that's pretty yeah, good. Yeah. It's pretty God. good. What's, he's, fucking, he's going after dude? No, him. Tenacious D <laughs> should do. Like, somebody suggested it. Like Tenacious D should just do like bad pop. Or, well, I think yeah. bad early two thousands covers. That'd be great. Well, they better get on it because the way those guys are looking right now looks like. Tenacious diabetes. <laughs> yeah, uh, and they're not going to be around much longer. No, their first album's really good though. It's really. But didn't, oh, Madden, dude. didn't the Madden yes. Web director one of the reasons she wanted to set it where she wanted to set it because she wanted to use Toxic by yes. Britney Spears. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I like, that you know, a lot about why the movie sucked. <laughs> there you go. 
Uh, hi, Comics Division. Uh, I recently saw you in an animated short, uh, very accurately <laughs> represented <laughs> with the top half of your oh, head. Yeah, right we'll, watch we'll watch it later. We'll watch it later. We'll watch it. I have it. I, have it. <laughs> I was cracking up. How you doing? Doing good, man. Doing good. Uh, yeah, it, it's kind of funny what's going on right now with Sweet Baby Inc. I, I love how all the journos are running to their defense. And, uh, of course, we'll probably start getting Gamers Are Dead Again articles. So, yeah, it's going to be an interesting summer, I would say. Now, the gamers are rising. This is a better version of Gamergate that's not filled with a bunch of fucking phony skeptics uh, and yeah. Zoe yeah. Quinn. Uh, and so it's this is a much better version. Of, hey, Dan, Dan Vass started. Dan Vass started. Not not yeah, as yeah. Dan, Dan Vask started yeah, it. Dan so. did it. Yeah, Dan <laughs> did it. He's al he's also gay. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got the representation there for him. Yeah. On this at International Women's Day. On yeah. this International yeah. Women's Day. Uh, you, did you see that that Melanie? People are passing around that Melanie Mac with her fucking mustache on as Dan Vask. That's pretty funny. That's pretty funny. Uh, and he's roasting the shit out of me. So that's good. Hey. I hope he's busy roasting the shit out of me on Twitter for the next week or so. Uh, that's that's what I prefer, and I'll be busy here on YouTube. There you go. It's the sign of someone who knows he's lost and he's just <laughs> in all the shots right now. I saw you on Daily. You were comparing our overall views, Ryan, yep. uh, which is fair, totally fair. What you left out was the amount of videos. <laughs> well, well, I know. Yeah. Well, like obviously, I've made significantly more videos. Yes. What I'm saying is, uh, over the course of our lifetimes of our channels, almost equivalent view wise. Yeah, yet pretty close. About four times, more, well, three times more people have decided to click subscribe on you that watch those videos uh, than me. So, you're 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 sad that I left out like a big win for you, and I was just shitting on myself. No. Uh, kind of, I was just you, pointing it out. <laughs> I wasn't sad. Just I was back like, off, man. <laughs> Jesus uh, Christ, Ryan. <laughs> Gary does have an army of editors that make his videos. I look do really, now. Really yeah. Amazing, yeah. Yeah. Well, like, yeah, I pay some people. Army to, of two. To make that. I'm an army of one. Yeah. Uh, and, well, to be honest, there's not much to edit. So I just chop off the beginning of the end. <laughs> yeah. Any racial slurs I happen to say in the middle and uh, put it out. So. Yeah, but like my, like, yeah, my view count isn't like 10 million a month or anything like that. Nothing like that. Uh, I think maybe I got close once. Whatever. The tortoise. I, I'm, it's like a tortoise. Rings of, that Rings of Power month was probably pretty that good. That was pretty good. And, and last November, last November with the Marvels was pretty good, too. That was good times. Good, good times. The Marvels. Ah, uh, well, my, I, I think I was saying that almost the exact same people have seen our videos, yet Gary has a million subscribers, and I don't have three hundred thousand yet. That oh, says a lot about his content there. versus mine. You, you've They're only just been, playing hard to get. You've you've yeah. only been like you've only been doing it since two thousand nineteen, though. That's pretty fucking. Yeah, good. that's true. It's not I'm not I'm I'm a pretty likable person, so I was really surprised. Yeah, I, I am too. Yeah. Usually, you, know, you have a lot of crossover into the normies, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like totally. Uh, uh, who did I forget anybody? I got Odin. Hi. Oh. Uh, <laughs> one of people. The women. Hey, uh, you you did a really good job. Hang on, in in Shogun this week, a little girl bossy <laughs> in one part, oh. but it wasn't terrible. Uh, it it was kind of made bad. By the female director who didn't know how to do action, yeah, unfortunately. Obviously. Maybe oh, yeah. we should have got the Sosta that. sisters. Obviously. But uh, yeah, like, <laughs> that, that sword play was pretty freaking terrible. Yeah. But uh, otherwise, pretty good episode. I never Which hear episode? Because I've Third. watched up to episode two. Okay, so I've seen episode, episode two of Shogun. So, so that's, and, uh, the, by the way, that's the well, director that's who's. a good show. That's the director who's going to be doing Rings of three episodes of Rings of Power. Uh, right? Yeah. Of the, of nice. the one who did the third episode. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Rings of Power. I don't want to remember that. It doesn't get shit canned. Oh, so far, episode Hi. two. Shogun. Hi, X-ray girl. Yeah, yeah. no, I, I like it so far. It's just that one little fight scene was was bad. Yeah, the, the fight choreography was, was pretty bad. really bad. But uh, the other stuff was good. Hi, X-ray girl. Hello. Um, I've been very unbusy because this house has been getting renovations, and then there's been loud noises, fans, uh, screwdriver. What is that? The power tool? What's that called? A drill. The uh, drill, yeah. Penis. That's just foreplay. <laughs> yeah, the drill. <laughs> <laughs> the 
the power tool. <laughs> it was his birthday just it recently. Was it's, it's part of his leg. It's part of his leg. He has attachments for the leg. Options. Which one today, baby? He's got he's got a Swiss <laughs> Army leg. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't make the dirty joke this time, okay? <laughs> oh, well, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. But you're whoa. into that extra girl. Whoa. You took that and just riding with us. So we yeah. we we uh <laughs> On the noon, or I'm, uh, I had X-ray girl read something, but she wouldn't read the cuss words, so I had to read the cuss words for her. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, I'm doing some work, and I see X-ray girl streaming today. So I'm like, oh, let's go check on X-ray girl streaming. You're doing like freaking squats in your shorts to like super chats or something like that. I'm like, this woman won't cuss, but she'll do this. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> It was cloud squats, and it wasn't like the camera was up my butthole as some Twitch streamers do. I had to leave. I felt I felt like God. I'm I, this is inappropriate, so I left. But um, <laughs> weird. I'm, pr I'm proud of you. Dude. I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> like Gary just walked in on his daughter. Oh, like, oh, oh God! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just say the legs are working out, okay? Like dad, knock! Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, joining us for the first time on FNT, but we've talked to him before on the Real BBC, is the Soska Sisters, the Soska Sisters. Thanks for having I'm say Soska Soska. I'm American Wasca, and ignorant. Like so. Ayahuasca. But I, it's Ahsoka to Jay. He's he's got permission because I don't think he can learn Soska at this point. He's <laughs> yeah. calling us the Ahsoka sisters. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, <laughs> that's fine. Bless him. Uh, Bless him. Write, writers, directors, and uh you are writing uh, I'm gonna say I gotta say it right, Yaira. Yeah. I said it right. Uh, this Monday. He orders this Monday from the Riverbird. Yes, you said it perfect. Yeah. I had to practice. Sorry. <laughs> What's I was it, what? speaking to Gary on the phone. Was it last night or the yeah. night before? And he's like, I've got to say it right. I keep saying Yarrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is it Yairo? How do you say it? Is it Yairo? <clears throat> yeah, it's Yairo. Yairo. Yeah, Yairo. Can't, can't teach Yairo. an old man new words. No, you uh, can't. No, I, think, I think the State of the Union is a pretty good example of that. Right? Oh, <laughs> wow. Shit, bro. Uh, that was magical. Wow. R.I.P. Uh, Lincoln Lincoln oh. Riley, the USC head coach. <laughs> I know. Oh, I know. <laughs> Went trending and didn't even know why. Poor Lincoln. He's like, what? Am I dead? <laughs> state of the onion. State of the onion. Oh, Jesus. And, the absolute and, and, and a young girl, apparently. It's like, what? Yeah. Uh, I didn't even watch it. I watched uh, Shogun. There you go. I know, like, everybody and their mother was uh, streaming it, but I uh, skipped it. I don't care. Uh, welcome, Saska sisters. Uh, let's get to it. What do we want? We wanna, we'll do Zach in a little bit. We'll do Zack Snyder in a little bit. What do you want to start with? You pick, Garrett. Let's see. Uh, we got Hollywood Strikes, possibly. I'm interested uh, in that. I'm okay. very interested in that. that. Yeah. I, I like that. how Gary's sure. like, you choose, Garrett, and he starts to, like, put out a sample platter of, I like, know. letting us pick everything. It's like, <laughs> well, I, you know, I just like to make you guys uh, a part of you the like team. You like to pass the buck. <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's okay. You just, I like to push off my work onto others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, no, 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 okay. Fill so me in on this, because I bring the work, you dispense it. The rumor that there might be another strike. Yeah. This, are they that retarded that they would yes, do that? Yes, yes. And Still actually, really so yes, so it's uh, Ayatsi, not to be confused with Nazi. Uh, these these are the Teamsters. So this th th mm. this is a huge union. These are the craft workers. I'm just getting, I'm covering part of it. They build oh, the sound drivers. stages, drivers, yeah. everything. Mm. They, they, they're the blue these collar. Are all the these are all the people that got fucked over. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. During the six yep. months of strikes. That's who My dad was a teamster. <laughs> I love, now they're like, now it's our turn to screw everyone else over. And, and, <laughs> and, and what are we hearing from the WGA right now in the Film Actors Guild? Uh, wait. Oh, you better come to a, you, you better figure it out. We don't want to strike. Yeah. <laughs> No yeah. Shit. <laughs> yeah, well, but they, wow. they stood with them for well because they had to. They had no fucking choice. Uh, so they stood right. with them, and like I'm not pro union, but like they have a leg to stand on in this because they could shut Hollywood down again, and that would be. Uh, well, they're already in trouble. There's already. I just did a video on it. There's already like, hey, this we're headed towards a new Hollywood. The old Hollywood is dead. We're heading towards yeah. a new one, whether it, it lives on or not, or it's just going to be less relevant. There's going to be less of it. Whatever it is, there's a new Hollywood coming. We are past po post week. Uh, we are post peak woke Hollywood. You can do so, it, Gary. Come I on did now. it. Come I on. fucking did it. 
You're having a Biden moment for a moment. What's the first one, man? What's the first one, man? What's the first one? Just with, without the drugs now, you know? Yeah. 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 Well, no, I can't do those. I, I would probably like I would probably like those stimulants way too much. So no, um, yeah, the industry is not back. Bad news Aww. from Hollywood really? Cruise. Uh, the town's canaries in the gold mine, i.e., crew members, voice alarm about an anemic state of production following the strikes. Everybody's waiting to see what the new normal is. There is none. There is none. Yeah. So what happened is uh, <laughs> exactly what we said. They went on strike. And the producers saw that as an opportunity to cut a lot of projects and contract. Yeah. Boom. You have less jobs. So well done. Uh, on March 4th, major Hollywood crew unions began negotiating their health and pension benefits with studios and streamers with uh, Hollywood Teamsters head Lindsay Doherty saying, we will strike if we have to during the talks. By the way, she was front and center like for all the strikes. Like she's in a bunch of our videos. And yeah. uh yeah, so so she she's she's yeah, she's all about that uh collectivism. Uh but some Los Angeles area crew members say that in the aftermath of the writers and actors walkouts of 2023, there doesn't seem to be that much work to halt if their own stoppage is called. And that's true. That's true. Oh, that reminds me of when Az <laughs> took off in December. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a strike. <laughs> <laughs> Rem remember that remember that first day remember that first show we had without him and it was our oh, most the, watched the show, show ever <laughs> <laughs> remember the show that i came back gary became the most watched show ever okay okay i can play that okay. fucking oh, game yeah, 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 yeah. Love you. i mean we were all there for both of those shows yeah that's all i'm gonna say people are just tuning in to see if i had actually left the show that's why that was <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah, they saw R.I.P. as trending. They're like, "Oh my yeah. god!" They <laughs> wanted to know if you died. What happened? I love the internet. That was a great marketing campaign, by the it way. Was, it was. It was. Yeah. Uh, caught in a brutal industry contraction amid the demise of peak TV. Wow. I wonder who could have. Weren't some people saying that this was going to happen? Can't imagine. No, no I don't think anyone said it. For Weird. years, yeah. years, years in advance. Mm, yeah. Uh, crew members describe an anemic return to production after the strikes. I'm getting so sad reading this. Oh, no, I'm oh. not. I'm actually getting oh. happy, uh, which is exacerbating problems for those who already had significantly fewer opportunities to work in 2023. Well, DEI should solve all that, guys. Mm. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's about mm -hmm. equity, guys. Uh, you back that 100 percent, that equity stuff. That, that should work, right? Uh, there hasn't been any real work says one location manager based in L.A. who didn't work for seven and a half months during and after the strikes. The I'm industry so is not back. Uh, your dad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, what? You're working through your pregnancy? Whatever, you're supposed to. <laughs> I'm sitting in my ass. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Whoa. What, 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 sorry, wait. What was that expression? I just heard stick it in my ass. I said, no, I'm sitting on oh. my ass. Oh. I'm, I'm I, I, I heard spitting and I was like, wait, what? I heard, oh, I, I'm I heard, not that heard what you want to. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, exactly. I um, think that's okay. saying more about you than about Christian. So, <laughs> yeah. Odin, 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 I, I should sitting. hope not. What did you say you hear, Odin? What did you uh, say you speak, heard? <laughs> speaking of balls, happy International Women's Day. <laughs> Make me a sandwich. <laughs> happy birthday, Jim. Yep. Happy birthday, women. I expect some really good sandwiches out there. Uh, all right. So where was I? Where was I? Where was I? The industry is now oh. back. Oh, yeah. We're yeah. back. In, uh, oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Hollywood Reporter. That <laughs> <laughs> gave me whiplash. Okay, there you go. It's uh, here. I highlighted. Right, oh, but what's what's back is a few things that are doing pickups or needed to restart from things that were shut down before May. Adds uh, a set uh, decorator buying uh, buyer who has been out of work since March 2023. Holy shit. You don't have wow. a job at that point. Like, you are. Yeah, what are you doing? Time to look for other work if you've been out of work for a calendar year. Uh, I literally can count on two hands how many people I know that are actually working right now. That's now in January. It was even less. Um, so, those, your unions, uh, not your, but like those two unions that went out and shouted victory. Like we we bent those studios over. We got him. How's it feel now? Oh, 
That was them celebrating the decline of their industry by doing that. Mm -hmm. It's just, it, we screwed everyone over, we won. Yeah. It feels like a cinema that's ready to receive a showing of Madam Web. <laughs> 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 so, I, I'm a little of two minds about this if they choose to um, strike or not. What, I mean, yeah, yeah, let Hollywood die and burn, so do, go, do it, go on, strike. But if, I, they, if they do it now, that could actually force a change that's already on the horizon and just make Hollywood push in that direction anyway. And that's to start using more AI generative tools in place of actual sets and stuff, which is not necessarily a good thing in that aspect, right? I think it's going to be good for small I studios. knew you were going to work AI in yeah. the like, oh, hey, 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 hey. At least as gave me an excuse <laughs> to tweet about something other than AI this week, okay? Yeah. okay. Uh, <laughs> you, went, you went balls deep, didn't you? Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> I just got pissed off. I couldn't believe he was being so damn dishonest. I was just like, yeah. I could hear your tweets, mate. I could hear them. <laughs> I have a question for the Saucer Sister. You, you've directed films and, and stuff like that. So have you ever had to work with any of these uh, Teamsters? I'm sure they have. Oh, yeah. Uh, crews actually are the most abused people on a film mm. set when the strike was going on. And uh, the, the faucet in America when Hollywood turns off Canada is totally screwed. Yeah, very much affected. We are so reliant on American business, especially in Vancouver, because uh, we're in the same time zone as LA. So they like to come up and uh, work up here. And when those productions, those big TV shows shut down, not only is there no work, there's no Canadian work because the Canadian co companies are waiting for American money to come back up. And they just kind of just sit there and nobody works. Teamsters a lot. I mean, I know it's different in every place, but in Canada, our Teamsters work their asses off. They're there before the director and the, before the cast show up, and they're there the last bit. They they stay till the very end. Yeah, people don't realize that when we have a twelve hour day, they probably have like a sixteen hour day, yeah. and a lot of the time, yes. their bosses will screw them over for hours, being like, "Let's just do double time and a half, triple time and a half," and these guys are functioning off of like. Zero two sleep. hours yeah. nothing and yeah, yeah. It, all they get as a thanks is like hey we ordered p large pizzas for everybody in your 17th <laughs> hour and yeah some of them are like can you please put us up in a hotel nearby because we have to oh, come in and yeah. out and they'll never do that for the crew but for an actor who maybe shows up and let's be honest they might actually act for four hours they might actually be doing something for four hours and then they're like oh my god i'm so tired i need to sleep in a hotel well you're not even <laughs> driving yourself to work in the morning yeah so it, it's just absolutely ridiculous i was bound to <laughs> explode sooner or later yeah and the few productions that did go on during the strike abused the hell out of the crews so i'm not surprised right now they're like you know what fuck that yeah, and the business never recovered after COVID, especially in Canada. We were so screwed waiting for the American productions to say we could start independent film or local film again. Mm -hmm. And then with the strike, everything got screwed. And everyone's still kind of waiting, even actors. It's so hard to get an actor to sign on to your movie because they're like, I don't know if there's going to be a strike. I just don't feel like working. I got a, sorry, I got oh. a question. Yeah. What, what's Canada? Oh, it's this nice apartment over this meth shack called America. <laughs> it's below America. Meth shack is below America, okay, geez. Oh, as you're part of the Commonwealth, Where the you fit know what Canada is. No, yeah, I just I just know about conquering places and fucking off. That's all I know about. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to conquer Canada, please, we'd be very, very willing. Yeah, oh, no, you, you can have it. You can have when it. You, it's, it's you all guys, when you, you guys talk it, about it. it. Canadian work is that the same thing as Canadian health care? <laughs> oh. yeah, that's called May. <laughs> yeah, so, so in Canada, if someone gets tired of working on set, do you guys just help them kill themselves? Is that <laughs> yeah. how work? Take them out to the back of the shed. Yeah. Uh, this segment brought to you by Better Health. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Bring the article back up. Bring the article back up. Country. It used to be hockey and you know maple, maple syrup. syrup. <laughs> yeah. Bob and Doug That's McKenzie and Rush. And now yeah. it's Rush. coming. Trailer Park Boys. Rush. Trailer Park. Oh, shit. That's cool. Fucking love that show, man. Love Mike that Myers. Show. Yeah. Chris, uh, Chris Jericho. According, uh, to, heart. according to Film LA president uh, Paul uh, Oddly. Uh, Oddly. Who, yeah. Whose office tracks production data in the Los Angeles area, which it's impossible to shoot in now. That's that's 
you know, yeah. it's absolutely uh, uh, Gavin. You gotta shoot around the homeless at this point. Well, yeah, or or if well, if you're shooting a zombie movie, you just go down. To yeah, scare that, yeah. Fine. yeah, super uh, easy. So far, the year permit and shoot day volume is down fourteen point three percent compared to, with levels at the same time in two thousand twenty three, which is arguably the first year they were kind of back. Uh, oddly notes, as several sources do for this story, the pr production pulled back in early 2023 prior to the strikes, which makes it an atypical benchmark. Well, you can't because Hollywood's been out. It has been normal in Hollywood now for four years. That's a long fucking time. That is a long time to not be normal. That's a broken industry now. Uh, and it's no surprise that everything's been halved. Every, absolutely everything. And I don't know what they were hoping to accomplish with these strikes. I know the contract was up. No, they had to do it anyway. But maybe maybe you just had to think about a little self-preservation. But your union leaders didn't give a fuck because they still have their job. They're fine. They're mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just having another boss. However, in February, the film office saw increases in activity and shoot days for commercials and shoot days for feature films. But... What we've seen is a lot of fairly small scale productions. We haven't seen any large films or in fact, a lot of the series televisions return yet. Uh, it's just beginning to come back. Yeah. There's uh, a lot of season twos had even, haven't even started production because they're what uh, the Soska sister said. There, there's another strike on the horizon. They're just like, I don't want to start up and stop again, mm. which sucks. because yeah. It's going to stop us from getting Tulsa King season two, but uh, whatever. It'll um, stop us from getting a lot of other shit. Okay. So it's okay. <laughs> well, well, they just outsource it. I mean, that's why um, Marvel is it, they have a they, they have like a they do a lot of work in Atlanta. They're winding that down and moving it to the UK. So there. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of stuff going to the UK right now. Well, th well, that's oh, one of the interesting fuck, things. Babe. Like with the actors' strike, it's a bit hard to outsource actors that are already signed on and done previous seasons stuff like that. Yeah. And yep. writing it, you know, it, it it can be hard, but you know, they're 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 so like if you go outside the union, you're blacklisted and stuff. Uh, with this one, right? I I, I find it interesting because. There are ways to outsource what the production crews will be doing, and and so it's like, oh, that that could really shoot them in the foot and just force the industry to say, hey, the future, the horizon is a future that we're not going to be reliant on you anyway. You'll just speed that up. Yet on the other side, if that is the future, this might be the only time where they have any amount of leverage left to be able to push for whatever they want, and that might be why they're trying to push to strike earlier than later because. Things are becoming, technology is moving. As I mentioned, there's going to be AI tools that will do a lot of this stuff for people for a lot easier and cheaper. And so if they want to strike when they have leverage, this might be why they're... they're and, and this, maybe because like what little leverage they had is is going to be gone. That That's pretty much yeah. it. Uh, exactly. That's the point, yep. You know, in 2008, what, was that what the strike? 2009, some, 2008, somewhere around there. Uh, they had leverage because people still gave a shit about their shows and TVs. They don't now. They just flat out don't. Mm. Yep. Uh, you can pull yep. the article down. It's too gonna... many different options. Just way too many different options. Particularly video games taking over as such a dominant industry. Three yeah. times bigger than the movie industry now. Streaming services have also curtailed that as well because there's too much choice in streaming services. You can cherry pick what you want to watch. And also, we've had so much entertainment over the years now. If your new stuff is shit, we'll just go back and watch the old stuff. That's mm -hmm. right. Just what, really sucks, the old stuff. what really sucks for them is that they're just the... They're the people that moving lights or setting up cables or, you know, doing stuff like that. They have no say over the stories or the quality of how those stories are told and they get screwed. And then they get screwed again when all the strikes come in. So, I, I mean, I get why they're fucking pissed about it. I would be, too. I'm like, fuck you. We just want to work. That's all we want to do. But you yeah. guys are making bad decisions that are affecting us it's like we're seeing that everywhere so many people getting laid off because of bad decisions made by people people higher than they are oh yeah, yeah big time yeah when, when my dad was a team so i remember he would like leave for work at like three or four in the morning oof. easily 16 hour days sometimes more than that sometimes come back just for four hours just to kind of sleep and then go back again and then yeah they give you like a second dinner but it's like shitty and you're so tired you're not even hungry mm. at that point anyway oh yeah <laughs> and the the labor is heavy labor like carrying wires and packing yeah. up gear yeah. and making sure all the inventory is there meanwhile you know you get your actors coming straight to set with their sunglasses on and someone puts their makeup on someone dresses them someone hands them what they're saying for the day <clears throat> and it's just not even yeah. like it no, has making a youtube video <laughs> <laughs> it's not as hard as streaming 
So, oh yeah, uh, oh, is, man. like it's very fatiguing. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> uh, you know, at Comic Cons, it was all Teamsters working, especially at WonderCon in San Francisco. All you, dude, you go like all the uh, the retailers were such dicks to them, and I just bought them a few guys lunch one day. Uh, for the next three years, I got priority. Walked right in, <laughs> oh, and rolled me in, yep. unloaded my stuff, and had it like Ro- let me Rodies cut the line. Awesome, man. Yeah, just because I bought them Rodies lunch, awesome. you know. Yep. So there you go. Got to know how to play the system. Hey, you, uh, there's a Fallout trailer, guys. You want to see Fallout? Oh, another uh, one? Uh, you know, I'm another an expert one. gamer, uh, and uh, my son loves mm. Fallout. Uh, the Fallout from um, um, uh, Jonathan Nolan, Jonathan Nolan, uh, and Lisa Joy. And uh, the, oh. uh, the writer of Captain Marvel. Oh, um, God. It, it's kind yeah. of funny because the the trailer, I'm not some massive Fallout fan, but the trailer gives off a lot of good vibes in yes. terms of like them recreating the world. Like it looks and it feels like the music, everything, like a lot of it feels like it. Mm. However, the characters themselves, it's like I don't give a shit about anything they're introducing. Very diverse. But like the, yeah. but like the world, it it feels right in terms yeah, of the way they yeah, like try yeah, to look create it on but screen. But how many times you know? have we seen that before? How many yeah, yeah, yeah. times? Don't you know? be fooled. Uh, yeah, don't well, be fooled by the pretty be, um, good Fallout production should design. be a cross between something like Mad Max and a Weyhoven movie. That's what Fallout should yeah. be if you want to put it onto the screen. It needs to have that, that dark sort of uh, filtered look about it. Uh, but you need to have that satirical bite of Weyhoven. Mm. But at the same time, ultra-violent... Uh, at the same time, really kind of grounded and gritty. And and this just, it, it does feel just like Silly Billy does fall out. If, yeah. you, if you want to know the difference between uh, Jonathan Nolan and his wife, Lisa Joy, it's uh, Jonathan Nolan pretty much controlled and looked over Westworld season one, and then Lisa Joy took over from that point on. That That's your difference. So, makes sense. Ryan, I haven't seen this trailer. When you say it looks like Fallout, are you saying it looks like standard Fallout or modded Fallout? You know, uh, like Fallout like, Four. I, I, I'm going to see people falling oh, through. The, another the, the, settlement the... is under attack. No, it feels I, like I'm Fallout not. I'm not 4. talking. To, I don't mean it looks glitchy. From like the opening of the vault to the the cities uh, and like let's take a look and shit. Let's take a yeah. look. Uh, there's no T poses and there's no people falling through the the floor of the world. <laughs> if there was a T pose in the background, no... I would be like, damn, they actually captured. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> accurate. Like, let's go. Fallout. I mean, if it was Fallout modded, it would probably be X rated. So you right. might want to avoid that. Let's hit it. Hello there. I'm here to show you a wonderful. We will get copyrighted by this, by the way. Really? Okay. Mm. Just I'm just. Right. Doesn't that guy like that usually actor. play the redneck? Like, like how? Like yeah. he does. He, he kind of does. Well, I'll, I'll this, fight. I'll fight. It. I'll fight it. it It'll be fine. I'm just yeah, letting you know. Yeah. 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 A veritable Camelot, the nuclear age, not made by God Almighty, but the working man. You can be a hero by purchasing a residence in a vault tech vault today. Because if the worst should happen tomorrow, the world is going to need you to build a better day after. From the makers of Westworld and <laughs> Captain I, I, Marvel. I, I thought Captain this was Portland. <laughs> Portland. The mission of the should be important. Current day. To come up to the surface okay, so real quick, uh, Garrett, you explain this to me. Impact. Uh, so That's you, impact, by the in, way. in the game, you can play both a male and female, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. It's a role playing game, so you can create your own character. Yeah. Mm. But there was no to, way that they effect. were gonna they were gonna pick a male lead for this. Just yeah, wanted to point of this course. out. <laughs> okay. if, of course, there's was, a reason. Uh, if this was Sweet Baby Inc., uh, then the CEO Kim Belair wouldn't have been able to make a black character because she felt that that wasn't allowed on a character creation screen <laughs> that allows you to create whichever character you want to create. Mm. Right. And that's, that's only deep. after it passes uh, Gina Davis's bias check uh, and <laughs> yeah. uh, the the Amazon's DEI department. Uh, yeah, must be fun to make stuff now. Yeah, no, no not really. In the last two hundred years. Holy shit! You're an actual vault dweller. I am. <laughs> I thought all you dipshits were dead. Uh, it's nothing like a flat joke to start your trailer. Right? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Great song choice, though. 
it? Yeah, that's from the game. Uh, that's yeah. the game. That's just, uh, okay. isn't this the Fallout 3? The, yeah. Yes, it's the Fallout 3, yeah. I just want to stop. I've had a rough week. And practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill me. I'm simply going to harvest your organs. <laughs> that looks pretty great. Yeah. It looks like it's practical too. Yeah. That's what I mean. That was good. That was good. Yeah, yeah. World of rules, of laws. You should not be alone. The sets look like they're in real locations. Mm -hmm. Why did Just you that writing? It looks expensive. To hurt the people who hurt me. That's badass. Going to come yeah, that looked good. Ain't much stage clean up here, Vaulty. I like this guy. Ooh, it's giving me gunslinger well, vibes. That is a very small drop. And a very, that's the, very large That's the same guy drug. from the beginning. Yep. April 11th. Look out at this wasteland. I look like Cal McLachlan for it, it is. It is. Oh, it is Cal McLachlan. Okay. Yeah. Damn bears, Shad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you can fuck that one. Yeah. You can. <laughs> Everyone wants to save the world. They just, just they disagree on how. There you are, you little killer. There you go. I didn't think that was a terrible mm. trailer. Is that Walton right. Goggins? Yeah. Yes. I mean. So yeah, it looks good. The aesthetic is good. The music's good. The uh, visuals are really good. The sets look like they're in real locations, like I said. Even the built ones look very well made. Is the writing going to hit? It, oh, yeah, it was no. better than the first one. I thought the first Absolutely, one, it, yeah. it, looks, it looks silly. And then it, that it, one, I thought, yeah. looked much better. Yeah. It, in that trailer, like, I, I don't really care about like any of those characters no. they introduced, truly. And that's like that's, that's the what, thing. I'm, I'm really I, split I, on the trailer. The only one I'm like, interested I like the gunslinger. I, I, I was focused on the gunslinger yeah, yeah. in that. Yeah. That was the only one I'm interested in, is yeah, that guy. Yeah. And like, is he going to be the villain? You know? Oh. Or is he going to be a side character that is just barely there? Right, yeah. He is yeah. probably uh, straight and white. Yeah. <laughs> They're making him a villain. <laughs> you know, I've I just bet been McLaughlin's too, many villain times. too. Too many times, think, too many bait and switches. Uh, I'm not. I'm withholding any. I know. Exactly. I know. Exactly. Yeah, I know. You can't. You, you, you're absolutely right. You are right. I mean, yeah. Hollywood does not deserve the benefit of the doubt. No, for no, absolutely no. anything. I mean, if it was Jonathan Nolan by himself, maybe, but uh, it's not. So maybe. I will say, we it got, makes me want to play the game. I yeah. Uh, Fallout <laughs> Three, Vegas. though, it makes me. It makes me want to play Fallout Three. Get into not Fallout New Vegas. 4. Oh. But if we get not if we get person of interest, Jonathan Nolan, hell yeah, because yeah. that show was fucking that rock. Person that of was interest show. was awesome. Very good show. Loved person of interest. Hell yeah. Don't get me started. Interesting on to see. <laughs> <laughs> April eleventh. That is that's during. Uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, during, during the meetup. Vegas. That yeah, premieres Vegas. Oh. on uh, the, uh, Thursday night. Yeah. Was that Thursday? Yeah. Let's see. All right, meetups canceled. We all got to watch that. No, just <laughs> <laughs> that There's night, no yeah. fucking way. <laughs> no, uh, I'll probably watch it when I get back. Three in the morning. We can watch like the first episode or something all together, yeah. something like that. The next release that I'm really looking forward to: Dragon's Dogma Two, baby. Oh hell cool. yeah! Hype for that. Hell is yeah! Oh, I can't wait, man. I'm very excited for this one. I'm just good. It's not multiplayer. I thought it was multiplayer. It's not. I they're going know. straight like the original, and you just yeah, there's the porn system and uh, the porn system. Oh, what? 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 Squeeze me. Whoa. I beg your heart on. There's a character creation. I can't hear you. Physics, but what did you say? What did you say? A, a chess pawn, not. Whoa, whoa! I love chess. Oh, come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Although with mods. Okay. Oh, it very well could be that. Porn system. Well, the, the people that uh, don't want to touch Starfield, the modders that are just like, this game's shit and boring, <laughs> maybe they'll have all that free time now to go, hey, let's put that multiplayer aspect into Dragon's Dogma. 
Oh, I'm so excited for it. I, I've been simping for Dragon's Dogma, Dark Risen 1 from the day it launched. My favorite action RPG. Now the sequel looks like it's going to be awesome. And uh, yeah. What date? 2024th, is it? It's March. Uh, yeah, so March this 20th. month, isn't it? Yeah, oh, March it's soon, 24th, man. It? Yeah. it is soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one is pretty great as well. That one's great. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> That's how we know that nature feels. That's great. <laughs> That's a How I Met Your Mother episode right there. Oh, oh no. That is, oh, that I need is to act Carl. I need to act Carl with that. <laughs> That's, That's great. Yeah. This is the thing. This is the thing, right? I literally think, like, Carl is, is being more successful than ever before. He's got yeah. the loaders. Last in. man standing awesome. from Gamergate. Oh, yeah. He really yeah, is. Yeah, I know, right? right? <laughs> he is the only guy that is he's, he's still there, still going strong. He's slimmed up as well and everything. Like, Carl, he'd be, in a, he'd, be, you know, he'd be a catch for anyone. He's already married, of course. But I swear, some of these, like, feminists that have, you know, hated him in the past, they're probably looking at him like, I, I could do worse. <laughs> like, if only, yeah. actually. I reckon I've they're like, worse. if only. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, that was great. So have we, uh, with this Sentry thing, is that, like, for real? Is that vetted? Like, do we know? Sentry what? All I've seen is, is I've seen it. So I've Sentry, seen an image. Sentry is uh, oh, a Sentry. character. Yeah, from, from, from Marvel. I thought oh, yeah, you said, yeah, I thought you said Century. No, and I, I thought yeah. it was yeah. Sentry. Yeah. Okay. Else, Century. Yeah, yeah, Century. With a girlfriend. Okay. Not uh, they, yeah, Gary, so, I don't think she is gay because I think there's another panel where she, oh, she one that. of them says to the other, please say that you love me, and then they kiss. There you are, Miss Kennedy, the linguine and clam sauce. Uh, excuse me, I believe I asked you to put a chicken in it and make her gay? Uh, yes, the chef was a little confused what you meant by that. It means put a chicken in the linguine and make her fucking gay! And I want it lame! <laughs> and I want it lame! <laughs> Extra lame! <laughs> Yeah, well, 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 she is lame. She is lame. She is she's lame, lame and Indeed. she's gay. So yeah, this is this is the meme, baby. This is the meme. Now this annoys me. Like I'm an OG Sentry fan. Right when he was introduced, I got his introduction right here um, nice. in the New Avengers. And uh, great costume, there right there, right there. Yeah, great costume. Look flipping brilliant. <laughs> Uh, and so, yeah, Sentry loved the character. And well, oh, well, that is too straight. It's too white. Got to change that now. Um, <laughs> She's a brown chick that's lame and gay. Brown. <laughs> yeah. like, who is it? Like, like, wasn't that she, no, wait. Yeah. She's she's got the powers of Sentry, right? She's an omnipotent superhero <laughs> in a wheelchair. In a wheelchair. She can does fly. Does she have the void as well? Does the void <laughs> oh transfer over? I, I, yeah. Does, does the void have to roll? Do they have like a wheelchair war? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. You know, fighting for parking spots. Of flight of stairs. Yeah. Fuck me. Nobody wants this. This is uh, lame. No, of course not. Uh, yeah. Nobody Marvel reading one, comic books wants this. No. I like it. It says, it says end right there. And I think that's appropriate. On the bottom yeah. right corner, yeah. it says end. Yeah. It's... Mm -hmm. it's you know, it's definitely the you, end of comics. It used to be celebrated when people who had challenges, disabilities in life, found a way to either overcome them or to live in. Can't spite do that of anymore. Them. Not, not to, not to celebrate and say, you know, this is like if you ask people in wheelchairs and say, "Do you want to be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life?" If there was an opportunity for them to, you know, somehow get healed or anything like that, they would take it. Okay, and so this idea of venerating disability and stuff like that isn't even under like followed through with people who, who do suffer from these things. And, and then it's like because one of the things about Daredevil wasn't really the fact that he was blind; it's that he had powers to help overcome right. it. Right? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah, absolutely. And 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 so. Wait, you wait, you're saying I, it wasn't so blind people could see themselves in that yes. yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> that was a good one. That was good. Mm. Ah, and so I just don't like you I don't see who this is made for. I like I do not see that people who actually have disabilities like this will think, no. yeah, you know, if I had superpowers, I wish I'd still be stuck in my wheelchair. I think I think what they would want to you know, have powers that could help them overcome it. Because again, even though they do have these disabilities, they learn to live and overcome them, usually in spite of them and not let them hold right. them back and other thing, and things like that. And so this almost feels like a, a slap in the face for well, people. It it as as like, if we hey, didn't already have them. Like, we already we had ex Professor Xavier in a yeah. wheelchair. Oracle yeah. in a wheelchair. Mm -hmm. you, took the, yeah. you took the wheelchair away, by the way, yeah. and it was a downgrade. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. Uh, why why do we need to do this to a character? Why? If, I were in a, if, if I were in a wheelchair, I would want my superpower to be no Walk. longer needing to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Gosh, you're so but able to well, so that able that that there's you. something. That's the thing. It would imply... Like if you wrote something, it would imply that there's something wrong with being in a yep. wheelchair. Exactly, yeah. and that's and why that's not uh, allowed. Part yeah, that's not. It's literally not allowed. It's it's part of the DEI rules. You can't have a handicapped person overcoming that anymore. That it's ableism. Exactly. That's, you can't do that's that. Ableist. That's yeah. ableist. That's now. ableist. That's oh, ableist. Ableist. How dare you? Stop it. And it's, it's not for the Christ. people. It's not for the people that are in wheel. It's it's for the people that are propping this up. It's it's they want yeah. the credit. Yeah. For the, the yeah. lady yeah. standing yeah. behind her. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's the, nobody in a wheelchair rolling around just <laughs> desperately hoping they'll change Century into a gay brown. <laughs> <I know. It's laughs> finally. That's like oh. That's who is this for, right? And also, Sentry is one of the most powerful beings. He's like, what, the power of a thousand suns, right? Yeah. And it's like, it's hard to see that level of power in someone who... Why, well, because they can't talk to the Shad? Head. How dare you? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you think that uh, he has the power to just fly. They're so, so, yeah. And, it, and the answer is, so is it's for nobody, is so because nobody's buying it. No. Well, that's, that's yeah. the thing, is they are making it now. The numbers are starting to equal, like, who they're making it for. You know, the mm -hmm. sales are so low that, yes, it might equal the amount of women, uh, uh, lesbians of color in wheelchairs, you know, like a thousand like copies. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Way to go. Maybe the chair is like actually the power source. What was that? What's the the seat that Batman sits on in? Um, oh, the Omega, is it Omega Throne, is it? Um, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about where he's yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. omniscient uh, in, yeah, that, yeah. in that one plot line? Maybe that's what it is. Maybe the wheelchair is the actual source of power. Hey, hey, I got to give a uh, shout out to should be a toilet. 1793 in the chat. Sentry, the power of a thousand exploding suns, defeated by stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck me, my nemesis. <laughs> stairs. Same as Joe Biden. There's no ramp yeah, here. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> that's just what like shall I do. Oh, it's not a man, next time on Sentry. <laughs> For us to do battle, and oh, I was defeated by Sentry. If only I hadn't been like the sabled ramp and given them out. Okay, yes, <laughs> Jesus. Oh, well, uh, comics had a good run. No dust that, and well, another one down. What do you mean, what do you mean there's the no ramp to get inside the building? The silliness uh, with going with that, with that demographic is like, okay, not only is the demographic brown lesbian women that have uh wheelchairs. It's not that because that is a that's a demographic. It's a demographic of that that read comic books, that read your specific brand of comic books. So was that like it's one such person? a media school? <laughs> but then amount Garrett, of people. Go, go but further it's not even for them. It's not even for them. For those liberals. liberals, obviously, yeah. Yeah, and then go smaller. The group of those people that would want to remain in a wheelchair if they had superpowers. What right. <laughs> one film this year that I think really grasps a lot is this film American Fiction. I don't know if anyone's seen it, but like it's all about this about this guy who who is a writer he can't really get into the space oh, yeah. but then he starts he starts pretending to be a gangster rapper writing real authentic black stories and all of a sudden it becomes this huge big deal but who's the one publishing him and trying to get all excited about it white, white liberals white working people. in these businesses yeah. Yep. yeah we had authentic black stories it was called cops why didn't they keep it on the air <laughs> Did, did you guys see this story? Uh, that dude that went on, uh, not, not not Zack Snyder, the dude who went on the Joe Rogan. Guy. Oh, yeah. Like a, oh, my God. Who spent like Pat a William? long time in prison. The prison, like, the prison advocate who had been in for yeah. 25 oh. years. And it changed his life. Like, it's a great story. He's now been arrested for allegedly, like, murdering someone and chopping their body into, like, a million. Can we just not appreciate yeah. the absolute banger of a joke from Chrissy there? <laughs> what was yeah, that? Yeah. I, feel, I feel as if it was skirted over way too quickly. all right. It's all right. What was it? I thought it was good. As long as you heard say, it. I was it was stunned silence. I heard it. I heard it. It said we already one. had authentic black stories on air. It was called Cops. <laughs> hey, no it joke. No air. joke, Chrissy. Chrissy, number one show in prison. Everybody gathered around the TV That's when Cops was on. Joke. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. Yes. It was, it was like, what, half that it was show like was what not to do for next no, time. No, it was, it, 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 no, I'm not kidding. It brought all races together. Everybody enjoyed it. Everybody was like, ah, ha, look at that dumb motherfucker. You know, it was great. <laughs> were they sitting there critiquing it like, you know, he should have really done this. I've experienced in this specific thing right here. I would have done that, you know, like. 
<laughs> or is uh, that that's my cousin? Yeah. Oh you my god! Get your foot into the chain link uh, fence uh, when you're over Comics is saved. It. Did you see this panel that uh, Lady Greymaster just put in uh, Discord? No. Uh, this is Daredevil oh, and Spider Man. Daredevil and Spider Man have had a lot of great adventures in the past. You know, like uh, they really they, they they team up nicely. But uh, this this might be the oh no the pinnacle. Oh, this no. might be the pinnacle, guys. Uh, comics is back. Uh, Comic books are saved. We're back, baby. We got the. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> uh, what the? Uh, oh, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, this isn't in like a Deadpool comic. <laughs> no, is this Photoshop? Seriously, I, I, I don't know. It, no, it's from Marvel Entertainment. Like they put it out. So it's just like a little it would meme suit or Deadpool? something. Or it would suit Deadpool. But I don't yeah. fucking know. Yeah, I, but, I don't get what I don't understand. What's we, you know, we may be missing a little context with uh, yeah. these two. I, I don't think we are. I think we're yeah. looking at something that was probably written by a, a gay person who doesn't like these superheroes. So that's probably yeah. my guess. Uh, God, I hate. I, I'm so glad. Yeah, he had the time of, of his comics. life. We know that much. Yeah. Yeah. Marvel Comics, DC Comics. They're so dead. The and absolute look, they're, state. They're just, they're, they, they, exactly. These are two perfect examples of current modern day mainstream comics. That's that's what I think. Nobody right. puts Daredevil in a corner. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody. That's right. That's right. Hey. But, uh, but if you like good comics, I do hear there's one coming out soon. That's, uh, there that's is. When would that be? Yeah. Monday? Would that be? This Monday, the pre-order for Yaira starts. Yeah, boy. Yeah. There's going to be a lot of new items, and there's going to be a lot of good shit. Yeah, there's a lot of secrets we've been sitting on, but as soon as Monday comes, it's going to be really easy to live because I don't have to scroll oh. through my phone and look at. I'm getting a call from Eric. Post. This is this is Eric on the phone. What's that, Eric? Hi. Hi you watch Eric. They can just tell everyone everything. Oh, oh that's oh. great. Oh, yeah. they, what <laughs> Eric just said he could tell everything. We no should problem. just watch everything right now. Yeah, just, just just tell us everything that's going to happen. My phone. <laughs> uh, well, obviously, like Page I know one, now that you're one. now that you have the go ahead, we need to know how many people in wheelchairs will be superheroes. <laughs> yeah, oh, <laughs> Mark, very you feel represented. <laughs> how many gay brown wheelchair bound uh, power of a thousand sun superheroes <laughs> that are gay uh, do you have in Yaira? Oh man, I can't spoil that. You gotta wait till Monday. You gotta wait till Monday to see a special poster for him. But you know, it's funny because oh, Jen so it's I, a him. <laughs> okay, got it. We okay. work in entertainment, and you guys keep talking about this. The last few weeks, everybody has used the word "woke" like the kiss of death, and they're taking projects that they were like, you could tell they really thought were precious, wonderful projects, and they're like. Oh, have you guys heard that woke is bad? We can't do that anymore. And me and Jen are just kind of like, oh, really? Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's catching on now that everything's on fire, eh? Yeah. I, I wonder if the century that is comic, like this moniker that you anyone can be the century, is that what Stephen Yoon or whatever his name looked at the script? And he's like, no way, he's man. Like, I'm no, out. Yeah. No, no way. way. <laughs> involved in whatever this is. He's, I'm not yeah. going to be like, he's like, I have scheduling <laughs> conflicts all of a sudden. Uh, yeah. I have to sleep Smart that day. Man. Yeah. I feel like, how many people White like with blonde flowing hair? Yeah, no, yeah, kind of stink. Yeah. Well, like how many people think about five years ago? If people were offered any roles MCU related, yeah. they would work out their schedule to make sure they could do the thing in the MCU. <laughs> now it's the opposite. People are fleeing in droves. Yep. That's one of the popular nice excuses to give. Like, we can just say you got busy. Yeah. And that's also when people are fired and also when people fire their agents and say, what did you get me attached to? I'm sure he got on the internet and he's like, oh, I'm in the MCU. And then he took a look and he's like, oh, my God. Yeah. It's like taking another baseball to the head. Career-wise, I will say that um, this is this is going to be weird to say about a female superhero, but this isn't just for girls. Yeah, no, it's just wow. It's just for wow. Oh, Even, I'm, I'm sorry, International Women's Day. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, what the heck? <laughs> who likes comic books? You're yeah. a gender traitor. I Are am. you aware what year it is? <laughs> right. <laughs> well, I seem to recall at my shop, Supergirl, uh, Batwoman, like they didn't sell to girls at all, at all. Yeah. No, it was guys. It was guys. Uh, I don't, girls you know, like X Men. Girls like Sandman. I love Daredevil because he was the worst. Daredevil was Catholic. awesome. He was always sleeping around. He was always <laughs> naked. I was like, Ooh. oh, this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I, 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 I can fix him. 
I get it. It, 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 it's funny because you you talk about people like buying their agents or whatever. We saw that with Dakota Johnson. Dakota Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. Dakota Johnson. Well, one, she thought she was actually going to be in like a Marvel Studios <laughs> MCU movie. That's so great. Instead, it was a Sony Spider-Man universe movie. But a week after the trailer dropped and got mocked by the entire internet, she fired her agency, changed <laughs> agencies. And now she's pretty much come out and been like, yeah, these yeah. studios are just fucking dog shit. Audiences are smarter than you think. <laughs> Ryan, 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 I, I think Sydney Sweeney and Dakota Johnson are might be the first two actors in history to look better and propel their careers off of a major flop. Yeah. Yes. 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 Mm. yes. Yep. Just because yeah. of their Dakota attitude. Johnson with some good sass, uh, Sydney I mean, yep. Sweeney with some good rack. Mm -hmm. and by yeah. attitude, they, you mean there, were, there were one or two <laughs> things that Sydney Sweeney had. That, uh, hey, no, 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 That's the movie I'm seeing tonight, by by the way. Uh, uh, Madam Webb. No. Really? Again? Uh, anyone, wow. anyone but you. Anyone but you. Was, but you oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Glenn Powell. Yeah. yeah. Did I say that one's actually had some staying power? It's things, the the things I do for love. I have to sit through a rom com with Sydney Sweeney's assets in it. Oh, oh your wife's oh. birthday. Oh, you poor thing. For my yeah. wife's birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, at least she came did back. Did you take I, her to Madam Webb on Valentine's I Day? I did, and then she immediately <laughs> left to San Francisco for a week and a half. <laughs> no relation. <laughs> Not at all. No connection there. No connection no there. Whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just grateful I'm not, I didn't get set on fire. So, um, <laughs> so uh, our buddy. You don't live in Portland, Gary. Well, this is true. Well, and I you mean, left San Francisco. I, I did. Where I lived for 18 years with a mar married to somebody named Mel, uh, who is a hairdresser. I, uh, I got a I got a business inquiry prison. email today from a company in San Francisco. You I did? just feel like emailing back going, Do you know who I fucking am? <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, we brought up uh, Joe Rogan, uh, who unfortunately is being connected to this guest. Yeah. Who, we don't, I don't mean to laugh. It's horrible. Uh, I, oh, the, don't. I won't even get into the details of the story with that because it's it's really dark. It's gruesome. It's really it's gruesome, gruesome and dark. Uh, but he had another guest on uh, a couple, uh, a few days ago. Slightly Zach, different. Z Zach Snyder. Kind of sorry Jeremy's not here for this one, but yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Zach Snyder was Aww. on. Um, and uh, he, he, a lot of Rebel Moon Cope, tons of Rebel. According to Zach Snyder, more people watched Rebel Moon than Barbie. Yeah. <laughs> The, the problem the problem with his kind of math is that Barbie also went on streaming. Yes. Uh, that, that's kind of like the, the the nonsensical portion of that. Even if you do buy, well, ticket prices, blah, 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 two people watching. Barbie also then went on streaming and was watched on streaming services. Uh, by probably a lot more people. And um, I, I would probably sit through Barbie before I sat through Rebel Moon again, to be exactly. fucking honest with you. But um, Yeah, because Ken's fucking amazing yeah, in it. Uh, yeah. But are well, you ready for a four hour cut? Let's oh, go. No, there, dude, dude, the director's cut are coming out back to back on the same day. Yeah. And six hours, six yeah. effing hours. You will know what hell is. Um, <laughs> and apparently they're completely different movies. They're completely different movies. But yeah, we, we don't know how uh, Netflix even counts a view. Uh, we have no idea if it's an impression, a view, we, if the people watch one second of it. If you scroll past it on their menu, we have no fucking idea. <laughs> But uh, well, I thought, what I believe what they count as a view, like when they put out their view or the tabulations. This is according to is, them, by the way. Uh, according to them is what they do, those view tabulators. And they are the most transparent with all of them, to be fair. They are. They are. Way more than anybody is mm -hmm. that it's um, basically the runtime, say it's a 200 minute movie or whatever. The runtime divided by like the total number of minutes that that thing's been watched. So if somebody watches all the way through, that would be considered one view. If somebody watches it twice, it'd be one view. If somebody watches the first half and falls asleep halfway through, has to fucking restart the movie, that would be like a view and a half if, once they finally finish it. Okay. Shit like that. Gotcha. So. 90 million people watch Rebel Moon, huh? Yeah, I'm pressing... Uh, where's my pad? <laughs> hey, maybe. Hard, hard doubt on that. Uh, well, so yeah. uh, the first... What's the last thing that came out? Avatar Last Airbender... According to them, 43 million views over the first two weeks. Uh, around the for world. Avatar. Like international. Yeah. Around the world. Yeah, yeah. And it got season two and three. And uh, I don't see anybody talking about it other than it got announced for season two and three. But the, the <laughs> conversation of that freaking died. And they were comparing yeah. it to One Piece. One Piece's conversation no. actually started out like three weeks <laughs> after it came out. That's when it started like really going up. 
Yeah, stop. Well, and no one's talking about Rebel Moon anymore. Period. Oh, no. Like, Except uh, for Zach. Like the only reason we're talking about this is because of Zack Snyder's interview. Yeah, but I forgot about Rebel the, Moon. Yeah, I did too. I never finished it. I, I got the first like 45 minutes, an hour through, and like, I, I'm not interested. Ryan, you're not missing anything. You really aren't. Hey, uh, this you. is pretty much the entire movie. Yeah. Yep. Forgot we had that. <laughs> 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 oh, when that shot came up in the movie, I was like, "Screen cap that shit!" <laughs> oh, it was so good. And she's screaming over a ca- Ray Fisher's character who we met like thirty seconds before. Right? Like, <laughs> he said like three words. He said three words. He's like, "I'm and gonna sacrifice fine. myself." I'm good. As he decided to commit suicide, trying to kill like well, that massive. That was quite apt of his oh, career. I thought, then, I, thought, I thought you said after he, like Joss Whedon yelled at him. Oh, sorry. Yeah. 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 Well, he said he was like, booyah. Just tell me that I needed to do something, and I'm a stage actor, and I didn't like it. So, uh, Zach talked about uh, you know, Superman versus Batman, and uh, he talked about some Batman stuff and, and his approach to uh, what, uh, how he depicts a hero, which I thought was more interesting. Of course, uh, no, Geeks and Gamers wasn't brought up. I did check. Though I did like I, I went, yeah, like, you know, close. I text Joe in the close. middle of it. I'm like, hey man, can you do me a solid? He's like, no, nah, I was totally couldn't bring it up. Sorry. No, no. Oh, not even but... Jamie. Man. <laughs> oh no, I want I want to talk about it. There's there's a lot of roasting in the in on Twitter about about Jamie booking that guy. <laughs> Is there? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, it's, I feel it's for him. Dark it's, roasting. They've had like how many episodes? Almost two thousand episodes, like yeah dude I you can't blame him that's a good I ratio yeah, what, I mean, what, 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 what are you talking i don't actually know what you're right, talking so there about was here. this guy who was like the face his story kind of went viral because he spent like 20 or 25 years in prison he was supposedly reformed and like things like that uh and i think he appeared in january or something so, uh, i don't recent I don't, recent recently on joe rogan's thing and they had a discussion well, he was just arrested for like this brutal murder and shit, and so I guess that they found reform. heads and uh, a yeah, head and oh, just the one that found the body parts in the apartment. Yeah, he yeah. Yes. somebody up. Yeah. What? Yeah, and and like yeah. people are like getting on Jamie for booking the guy. It's like he, how would he know? That's crazy. Yeah. But they're roasting him pretty. <laughs> it's pretty dark. Did roasting. you check to see if it butchered anybody and dismembered them in his apartment? Yeah. You know, oh. yeah, X-ray. Yeah. Girl. So, hey, uh, please make a note of that. <laughs> For any hang on, future hang on. guests, Ask all guests Oscar, can you open your <laughs> fridge, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. quick, please. Yeah, we have to do that, <laughs> 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 to do that <laughs> before the show. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Was this guy advocating that prison helps reform people? No, he was saying systematic <laughs> racism and, yeah. uh, you know, and he was a prison advocate. There's a lot of problems with him, by the way. But, uh, yeah, apparently he's, uh, you know, still a murderer <laughs> so <laughs> and, and i'm i'm just gonna guess that wasn't his first i uh, you know <laughs> joe could have totally got in there good since you've been out of prison and everything that's gone on have you murdered anyone yeah oh <laughs> <laughs> Mm. What a, imagine if, imagine if he was like yes yes i have him yeah. like listen while i was while i was in the clink i watched every episode of cops i know exactly what yeah. to do <laughs> yeah. then we watched Joe, Joe just laughed and i was like yeah no, I said, i'm not saying that happened but it would have been funny if it did not the murders not the murders that yeah, yeah no that's why i found <laughs> funny uh, you want to pull up uh, the Snyder clips? We'll probably get hit for this too. Whatever. So this one's uh, this one's him setting up his understanding of uh, kind of the modern myth of superheroes. Okay, I, I thought it'd be good to kind of for context. Give him context. Yeah, we make myth, modern myth. Movies are modern myth. Superhero movies are modern myth. Like we have Superman, right, and Batman, or whatever. Are they not the mythic answer to the modern? A lot of modern questions about like how we should live. Does Superman not appear in answer to us primitive brains trying to figure out what the where we are? Like you make a guy like Superman so he can answer some of those questions. He can represent a point of view that is not helpless in the face of the insanity. Is that there is holes like, in you know, his shirt? The, the yeah, I was the thinking the century. same thing. He looks like he has a bunch of holes in his wife beater. Yeah, <laughs> it looks there, like uh, there's speed uh, holes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that means. Could you so, explain it for me, Chrissy? I think it's a Simpsons joke, actually. It is. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> the light I, I like how, I like how comics happened. thinks that's a wife beater. Yeah, yeah no, no. Yeah. You gotta, that's hey, anything can be a wife beater. <laughs> that's a wife. No, that's the kind. That's the kind. That's the kind of. That's the kind of shirt you like. Put on to go work on your car, or, or you had to put it on like really yeah. quick to go outside and chase away <laughs> some I thought, criminals uh, I thought, or something. I don't know. I thought a wife beater was a Portlandian lesbian. <laughs> well, it is now. It is now. I'm only joking. I meant San Francisco. <laughs> just the West Coast. You can just do the whole West Coast there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so he's the modern pick a, myth. Pick a place, any Washington, the, pick one, anyone. The modern myth, right? Superman. He's the he's that archetype. Yeah, it's modern mythology. Uh, mm -hmm. At least it used to be. But then he yeah. goes into this. I I tend to get in trouble because of my I I do take a deconstructivist point of view mm. because of Dark Knight Returns mm. because of Watchmen. Those if you've read those two comics, it's hard to go back. No, I, no, it's not. Kill. No, it's not. It's not. It's really not. No, no. They're exceptions to the rule. They're not meant to be the rule. Yeah, it's that's not the like whole going point of them. Black. Well, and, and that's why those types of stories do stick out. And some of those stories, like if they're yes. done well, they do stick out because it used to be like a swerve from the norm. Kingdom now Come that, is another one. It's, it's, yeah, yeah. But mm -hmm. now that everything and really. We've talked about this a lot the past decade, decade and a half more in Hollywood. So much has been about these morally gray characters. There's no good or evil. Just depends on your perspective. Shit like that. Yeah. Um, now that's become the status quo for storytelling. People yes. are really, and that's why when you see things like Top Gun Maverick, where there's none of that shit, right? It, it's fucking simple story, good versus evil. Like those are the things that now people are gravitating towards. The, yeah. the irony is things like Top Gun Maverick, I just mentioned, are now the current day Watchmen. They are the current day Dark Knight Returns yeah. because mm -hmm. they have become the exception to the norm. Yeah. And the norm is now the deconstruction. Uh, yeah. You know, this oh, is why we see yeah. the boys and all these boys rip offs. The, the reason why things like the boys and Preacher and Hitman were so good back in the day by Garth Ennis was, again, because they were complete and utterly separate from the norm. Now yeah. everyone's re mm. read them, copied them, and everything is done in that style and that way. It's it's not. Now heroes are an absolute clusterfuck in comics today. And the irony is that they re the Mark Wade and, and Alex Ross wrote about this in Kingdom Fucking Come. That's yes. the whole point of Kingdom Fucking Come. It's literally become a prophetic piece of modern day comic book industry. Yes. Yeah. Which, yeah. Uh, which will still more. Mm. Go on. Oh, I was just saying, like, what you said there, as is honestly a, a, a true shame that. The message in Top Gun Maverick was basic, but it was it hit hard. And it was that a father sacrifices himself to protect his son, his family, mm -hmm. and he teaches them how to protect the next generation. That's the fundamental themes of Top Gun Maverick. And it felt so out of left field because you don't see that anymore when it should be the most standard, mm -hmm. basic, universal truth. Yet it's rare these days. And yeah. that's that's a massive. I'm interested show. to see what uh, Superman is going to be. Is it going to be deconstructive garbage like we see all the fucking time? Because well, he's, right he's... now we need a Superman movie out of anything. Our whole culture needs Superman. That that Boy Scout, well, why... that American spirit Superman. Why, why, did, why did we got the authority in that film, and then the authority right. is going to be the second film, and the authority is essentially again another sort of toned down the deconstruction. deconstruction of of heroes. Mm -hmm. And it's fine, and it should be in its own universe. But like right now, it, it was. would just it was it, called Wildstorm. It was called Wildstorm. You're right. It shouldn't be it, until they made it part of DC. But <clears throat> um, it, it's it's derivative. It's uh, deconstruction is derivative because the people who built up the hero uh, did not deconstruct it. It has now been deconstructed. By the way, he's he's referring to two comic books that are almost forty years old. They're about right, a yes. year away mm -hmm. from. Yes. Uh, a year or two away from being forty years old, and it's been forty years, and both. Both Frank Miller in the past and and Alan Moore have come out and said, well, it was never supposed to be the norm. It was never yeah. supposed to be the norm. And uh, and it became the norm. And uh, it's it's much harder to reconstruct the hero. And, and it's basic bitch at this point, and especially when you're and, and we've had this argument already when Batman and Superman came out. Like, why would you start with that? Why would you start with the end? Yeah. And, yes. and, and, and it almost sounds like. That's what Superman Legacy is doing too. Kind of a reverse Kingdom Come. We talked about that as which is yeah, just yeah. making the same mistake Zach made. 
Yes, know. yes. I mean, he, he's the Superman costume. The S is the Kingdom Come logo. Apart yeah. from the black, they've switched to the to the yellow. So if he's kind of pushing in that direction, then that yellow will eventually become the black because there will be the rise of the anti-hero as opposed to heroicism. We've seen it. Oh, God, we've seen it for the last 20 years, and it's so fucking boring now. It really is. You know, but... WB, uh, known for their very smart decisions. Uh, yes. <laughs> right? <laughs> Across the board. Remember in the first Daredevil movie with Affleck, he killed somebody in it, and that made him have yeah. his... Yep, and uh, they, they he kind of would have a no kill rule after that. That's that's what Zack Snyder was trying to do with Superman, right? Which just uh, yeah, it's fundamental. Didn't work. Yeah, but he killed, but he, killed, he killed the Kryptonian criminals in the comics. Uh, that was a, you know we're talking about Superman. That was goodness knows how many years in sixty years in by then fifty years in by then, and uh, saw no other way after uh, the the Kryptonian criminals uh, were running rampant. Saw no other way but to. Uh, to take them out permanently and that was a huge step that superman had to make and a huge decision he had to make well you, you you do that in the very first man of steel thing the very first thing he does is fucking snap zod's neck it uh, god think, i think so that so can't kill is, the, the problem with zach though is, is is zach doesn't just deconstruct he's too fucking stupid because he deconstructs by taking major storylines from different periods and yeah. thinking he can merge them into one story Let's take the death of Superman uh, and merge it with uh, the Dark Knight Returns, uh -huh. and then also <laughs> right. we'll put we'll merge it with Trinity, yeah, and then we'll merge it. with just like for fuck's sake, let's take these you know, really well known comics and, and, yeah. and just completely ignore it, like complete storylines you could have adapted that are filled with heroism. Now yeah. let's just take the the bestsellers and uh, put them in a blender, yeah. yeah. put them in a blender, and then yeah. shit yeah. them out and and wonder why people are like this fucking garbage. Yep. So he talks about specifically Batman and his no-kill rule. Canon. And I'm like, okay, well, the first thing I want to do when you say that <laughs> <laughs> is I want to see what happens. And they go, and like, well, don't put him in a situation where he has yeah. to kill someone. I'm like, well, that's just like you're protecting your God in a weird way, right? right? No! You're making your God a... No, you're, un you're telling everyone that you don't understand the fucking God. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. You are showing everybody I don't understand this character. Not look at you trying to protect your god. You're displaying your ignorance. You're displaying your ignorance as to why Batman doesn't kill. Yep. Batman doesn't kill, not because his parents were killed, and therefore he doesn't want to see. The reason why Batman doesn't kill is he doesn't want anyone to ever go through what he went through. Yeah. That's why he doesn't kill. Mm -hmm. Criminal, uh, regular person, it doesn't, it doesn't matter who you are and where you come from. But that's he the source believe, material, he, and he also yeah, knows he, that's that the it, source material, and, you know? that, and he also knows if he kills, he will it will turn him evil, right? Like it, it yeah. just will. Yes. Yeah. Batman has been he in many occasions where yep. he's had to say to Superman, uh, "People look up to Batman so much in the in in comics, you know. Batman's this regular guy who can take you out regardless of who the fuck you are. Superman, Wonder Woman, the Flash, all these people with so much power, and everyone is petrified of Superman uh, of Batman because he can take you out. However," Superman is a very, very close and a very good relationship with Clark. Yes, it's very polarizing at times, but he has a very, very strong relationship with Clark Kent. And, and he's, there have been wonderful conversations between the two where Superman has been like, you know, what if we pass you the power? And Batman has said, if you pass me the power, if you give me that ultimate control, it will corrupt me because I am a man. This is why we need you. This is mm. why we need this Superman the uncorruptible. I'm a man. I'm a mortal. I am. I will be corrupted by absolute power because absolute power corrupts absolutely. Batman understands that. He understands he can't have the ultimate power. And therefore, he also understands he can't have the power of a life and death. But hey, Zach, you, you, you know, tell us awesome how much you don't too. understand characters. What's awesome about that too is Batman, Superman isn't super, and his character isn't super because he's a Kryptonian and, and the sun gives him this character. His character is, comes from his family. His yes. family, his, comes from his morality. His morality. his morality is the super. Yeah. Yep. That's what's super about. His power well, might come from something, but his say. being a superhero comes from something else. Yep. Yep. It Relevant. comes from being a, a mid-American 
corn fed. A mid American? Uh, <laughs> mid mid <laughs> American. A mid Gar American. He's, mid. He's a pretty a mid American. A mid American. A mid five out you of ten. Ignorant limey. <laughs> Would yeah. smash if had beer goggles on. You know, Buy America. <laughs> yeah, he, he's a middle American that was brought up in 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 a small Kansas village with parents who town. were, were we don't have actually village. Village, fucking... village town, whatever fucking yeah. American terms. Uh, yeah. Parents, yeah. Had a, a, parents a, were a, driving a... to the town at the roundabout, and uh, <laughs> shit. I'm gonna play on my phone. Let's <laughs> 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 hear from Zach. <laughs> he can't be in that situation. He has to now deal with that. Yeah, you know, if he does do that, what does that mean? What is it? What is it? What does it tell you? But does he stand up to it? Can he survive that? Right? As a as a god, as your god, can Batman survive that? It's like a no win scenario. Superman's it's like the Kobayashi god. Maru. Stop referring of, to him as a god. When you start referring to him as a god, you put him into a completely different category. Superman is a man. He's a man blessed with exceptional power. But as we've just discussed, his power comes from his morality, and it yeah. comes from two human beings, his parents. Or is he trying to say that he's like, don't treat him as your idol. If he's your idol, then any deviation from it's going to make you upset. Well, look, like, at, look at all the messen uh, the, the messen uh, whatever it's called, that word that I can't say. That messianic. Messianic, messianic uh, <laughs> it's imagery that was in Man of Steel. Yeah. Rewind you know, it a little bit. Rewind, re I, rewind it yeah, a little bit. I yeah. think what he's trying to say is, like, the way people look at canon for these characters, it is like, this is like a god. This is coming from God. Yeah. These are all like the rules. I think that's what he's talking about when he says yeah. that. Yeah, and he wants so to like as our, like our modern myth kind of idea. Is, though. That's what canon is, mm -hmm. right? But I don't think he's saying that. Rubric. I don't think he's saying that Batman is a god the same way Superman is. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. yeah. No, you know, he's saying that's, that's, that's how the fans saying. look at them. Look yeah, at yeah. it, right. yeah. basically. Yeah, Mario, it's like the Kobayashi Maru of you know the Kobayashi Maru is that in Star Trek it's that test they put Kirk through where there's a no win. Right, because they want to see how you react. Mm. Right, so they say, okay, we're gonna make a we're gonna make a scenario, a test scenario where you don't win, where there's no way to win, and in that situation, we find out what you would do in a no win situation. They would say, don't do that to Batman. Stop, stop, don't put stop, him stop, stop, stop. in. Right. He, he, he skips over that. He goes, yeah, Captain Kirk uh, cheated and figured out a way to win. Yes. The <laughs> fucking Chad yeah. move. Batman would do the same thing. Don't compare it to Batman. Batman would do the same thing. What this sounds like, it sounds like you're saying, I did this simply because they told me I couldn't. Oh, Batman yes, can't kill. Well, I yeah. would now do it. Because, like, which is, well, that's like, here is the character. This is what the character does. This is what he doesn't. To, do, to be, remain true to the character, he do these things. Well, now I'm going to do something different. It's like, do you want to predict pick the character or not? This really feels like he just there's a moment that that I cut for time because I just didn't want it to yeah, be yeah, like yeah, three yeah. minutes long. Gotcha. Uh, in between there, where he he gives the example in uh, Dark Knight Returns, where mm -hmm. the 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 mutants got the boy. Yes, and he's like, I'm going to kill him. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. will kill him. And then Batman says, I believe you. Bam, and kills him. So that's his Kobayashi Maru example. But those two things are completely different. Yeah, we're talking like about Batman's 60, prepared for those things. Seven-year-old Batman or something, whatever it is by then. Now, again, outside of canon story yes. about the end Else of World's his story. life, yeah. Elseworlds, yes. not the mainline movie Batman. Doesn't sound like no he's a fan of anything. He's, uh, it's almost like he's a fan of too many things and that none of them are very like yeah, well, detailed-oriented, yeah. you I know what I mean? Yeah, it's I like think the, the big ideas of things. Zach He's has like, oh, a I lot like of big ideas. Zach has a lot of ideas, and some of them sound really cool. He's just not the greatest guy at putting them together. Okay, maybe he find needs a somebody good partner. else. Yeah, maybe some. You know, uh, George Lucas had Gary Kurtz. You know, people have people to kind of rein you in a little bit. Uh, there's nothing wrong with having a bunch of ideas and throwing them out there, but like, yeah, putting them in a, a, a blender like that it doesn't work. Uh, it, it just didn't work. Uh, he he talks about. Um, is this the, the other part too? Sorry. This is about fans. So this is, yeah. the next two are about fans. He uh, he kind of talks about those. But it's interesting to see when there's uh, like such a strong reaction to certain things, and especially amongst like really wild hardcore fans. Because there's DC hardcore fans. like particularly like, I know yeah, DC fans. You, you <laughs> well, you also face it because you you cover these genres you cover these subjects that are, that are iconic 
Superman, Batman. I mean, just those alone. No, no. And by the way, that's a lifestyle choice for a lot of people. It's not mm -hmm. a movie. Right. Right? It's right. not a movie. It's like, it's not like if I made a romantic comedy, you'd be like, okay, that was fun. Right. Like, I... No, prob probably not. The people who love... And, and by the way, like, I love... Oh, that was that shit. They wait, 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 wait. Pause, pause. I'm, I'm not... Pause. Why did the why I, did they imagine a Zack imagine a Zack Snyder romantic yeah, comedy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, if there's a Sydney Sweeney rom com where he puts in, he can put all the slow motion he wants. All right, <laughs> <laughs> not gonna complain about that as long as it's in focus. Yeah. There's a good parody. There's a good parody video out there. <laughs> Somebody there. needs to make a Zack Snyder romantic comedy. It would be hilarious. <laughs> In no way would I criticize that because I feel I live the same life, right? Because it's like it's, yeah. for me, it's in no way would I criticize the people who love. And, and by the way, I love that they feel this passionately. I'm, I'm not in no way would I criticize that because I feel I live the same life, right? Because like it's yeah. for me, it's morning, noon and night. But so for those guys, it's not just a movie. And so you have to on some on some level, you have to acknowledge that. The, they, this is their religion, you know, and they I... feel strongly about it. And they, by the way, the truth is, it's my religion too, you know. So it's a, it's a, it's a. Hmm. I don't think he understands the word. Is, no. is that fair to say religion? No. Is that really no? Fair? No, hobby, hobby is a good word to you. Yeah, hobby. Yeah, yeah. Hobby. like. The reason people love these things because they do actually impact their lives. Superheroes like impacted my upbringing, yeah. and I have a very strong connection to that. And so, in that sense, it's more than just a character. Luke Skywalker is more than just a character mm. to people, but that it's not so far to think that I think I'm in that world. It's my life or my friggin' religion. Uh, that's taking it too. Well, myth and religion yeah. are two separate things, and he's conflating the two, and that's the issue. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Um, and maybe that's how he sees it. You know, maybe he, you know, he is a nerdy filmmaker, and I get it. But um, no, it's not a religion. It's a passion. It's a hobby. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of us might obsess over it more than others, but um, <laughs> it's not my entire life. It's not every fan's life. But the, yes, they do take it seriously. And when you're going into the some a sandbox that the fan <laughs> that the fans built. That the fans built, uh, and some great creators and much better creators than Zack Snyder out there built. You need to respect them. If you want to go crazy, go crazy with your own. Make Rebel Moon all day long. That's that's the one thing I can't criticize. It's his original, well, <laughs> original yeah, work, hodgepodge, <laughs> a ripoff Star Wars and heavy metal. Uh, and uh, but do that all day long. That's fine. But uh, when when you're coming in, especially with DC fandom, like. DC fans yeah. know this. They are a special breed, okay? They are more passionate than Marvel fans. Yes. By orders of magnitude. Orders of magnitude. Marvel fans will kind of, you know, they'll get mad at something. DC fans will go fucking nuts because they're just hardcore, and there's nothing wrong with that. I freaking love it. Uh, but, uh, and then, uh, uh, like, you know, I've made the very bad analogy before <laughs> that if, if DC's the Taliban, then the Snyder Cut fans are kind of like ISIS, you know, um, and, uh, you know, it's just a it's a matter of fundamentalism. But uh, they're still like they are really passionate. They love fucking Batman. They love Superman. They love the Trinity and they hate it when, you know, look, look what happened with uh, Suicide Squad kills the Justice League. Look at how that, oh. that united all the DC fans. They're like, fuck yeah. this shit. Fuck this. And good mm -hmm. for them. You do not take on the DC fans and think you're going to come out without a few bruises. You're just not. That's it's a hardcore yeah. fandom. Uh, we got. He kind of defends uh, uh, fans in this, though, in in a way that I do appreciate. And and although earlier in the interview they kind of they're talking about Barbie, right? And I think you know Joe Rogan made a good you know I saw people complaining about Barbie, but you know you're going to a Taylor Swift concert and you're expecting ACDC. <laughs> you're not going to get it, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is a good point. But uh, yeah, you, you hit play on this. If this is the right It's one. been cool for me that when the fandom and the movie, like in the case of Justice League, they lined up, you know, where these 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 people were like, no, we're not gonna we we want we there's a movie out there that we want to see. And it's 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 around a struggle that we had as a family and all of it sort of came together. I always say, like, you know, people are like, you know, the fandom was toxic or whatever. They were like they were so angry to get the cut that they were like I go also also, they literally, people's lives were saved by the money that those kids raised. Like literal, like lives 
Can we just Real pause it candy. for a second? Can we just pause it? Geeks for and second? gamers, yeah. say their name. Yeah. Yeah. Say yeah. their name. Yeah. Yeah. But this is geek. He, this is the Geeks and Gamers live stream where where uh, like over like one hundred thirty thousand dollars was raised. Yep. Ryan. Yeah, yeah. About, about one hundred thirty thousand nice. dollars was raised. Um, and this is the guy who's talking about it in such a very positive way, in such a, a happy way that people's lives are saved, and that's wonderful to see. That came on and said, "I do not associate myself <laughs> with <laughs> yes. Geeks and Gamers." <laughs> He seems to be associating, you know, the. Oh, he's associating here. the money they made. Yeah, he's, he's associating these people. Yeah. yeah. And obviously, yeah. that stream was and fucking goodwill. massive and a shit ton of money. We the, we were not the only people that donated to ASL. No, no, either. there was a lot right. of people. A lot, of, a lot about of money was the entire, raised. Yeah. The entire yeah. thing. Is the entirety of it. Not specifically the stream. And that's still not a bad. Thanks for the acknowledgement, though. Yeah. No, it's acknowledging it. And it was good that much money was raised for that. Absolutely wonderful. And uh, hail to the fellowship of the 199 out there who. Donated. I, I feel like I've, you know, told, I feel like I've told enough people they should off themselves in my life. You know, it's good to, you know, do a little for the other side. So. Yeah. The lives were saved by that money. That that those kids that you called, that you would say are these toxic fans, they're also responsible for the saving of lives. And that's just real. You have to acknowledge it because if you don't, like, say you, my you, name. You, in some ways, the legacy that they were able to create is like, dismissed and i just i i won't I, I i can't well that's just a reductionist view of things that people always like to apply the things that are controversial especially when they're talking about your fans and saying something like they're toxic that's such a dismissive mm. thing no there's going to be some elements of any passionate rabid fans of course that are going to be toxic because it means so much to them and that's what you have to understand. The reason why they're behaving the way they're behaving, and the reason why they're screaming is, first of all, they don't think they're being heard. And second of all, it means everything to them. These people that are like deeply invested in your films and in particular like things that have like this sort of iconic history, like The Watchmen or like Batman. I mean, these are very important things to hundred percent. It's 100%. like the same way people are fanatical about sports teams, the same way they're fanatical right. about, you know, music. That's good to hear, and he's yep. and he's right, uh, yeah. and and that's why it's mind-boggling that these giant studios pay billions to get control of Lord of the Rings or Star Trek, and then they immediately shit on the people they paid for. So you yeah. paid for that built-in audience, and then you shit on them, and you go, "Oh, I can't imagine why things are going wrong." We called all our customers bigots. You know, it's like I know. fuck. Uh, yeah, go figure. They, they even say it's not made for you. <laughs> Yes, yeah. specifically. Oh. And then in the next breath, talk about how it's for everyone. Yeah, I yeah. know, yeah. right? Yeah. It's my for ass. everyone, but it's not made for you. Don't watch it. Why are we losing money? Who knows? <laughs> we yeah. would have made a lot of money if it wasn't for all those bigots out there. All you, all you neck beard Republicans. The the oh, X Men yes. wasn't made for you. Uh, <laughs> I hate to break this to you. I sold X Men comics in San Francisco, and half the audience was Republicans. So that I, I, you're fucking wrong, you dumb bitch. I'm so, oh, I'm sorry. I'm talking about the, the Mary Sue chick. So happy uh, International Women's Day. Happy International <laughs> Women's Day, you dumb bitch. Hey, yeah. Why don't you learn how to make a sandwich and maybe serve it to a man instead of eating it yourself, and you might be a little thinner. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Or you might find yourself holding your, holding a it. wedding on your mm. birthday. Oh. oh, yeah. oh, oh hey. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if there was a bunch of cats as the maid of honor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, I'm kind of curious. Uh, how long did she cry afterwards? When <laughs> <went home? laughs> well, it was a very lonely honeymoon. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> it's been crazy. Like the sweet baby ink stuff has been awesome. I fucking love every minute of it. And they're digging up old videos. I, I, I had forgot that that Black Rock video. You know, because I checked the date. It's oh. from 2017. 17. Yeah. Um, yeah, the Sweet yeah, Baby yeah. Inc. one is from 2019. 19, uh, the, yeah. Not so secret gay agenda. That was a year ago, Ryan, or two years ago? Two. Oh, two. Wow. Yeah. two years two ago. Point. So they were really fucking open about this shit. They were really fucking proud of this stuff. And 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 their hubris. Uh, and now it's starting to get exposed and websites are going down. Twitter. Uh, X accounts are being uh, protected and they're not so proud of it anymore. It's weird. It's like the tide's mm. turning. It's like uh, when you shine the light. Uh, oh, this is a terrible story. I was living in a garage one time and uh, we had to move a fridge in it. 
and I moved the fridge, and like a thousand cockroaches just flee. It was like grossest thing ever. That's kind of what it is, though. Once you expose yeah, it, it to the light, yeah, dude, it was a mm-hmm. horror movie. I, I I didn't live in that garage after that, by the way. That's <laughs> what, I just want to so, point out. Oh, yeah, Gamergate one. This was back Ugh. in the drug days, though, so I was afraid they were gonna just stick, take my drugs. That's all. Gamergate one was so public. <laughs> <laughs> not my, not my <laughs> meth roaches. <laughs> yes, <laughs> those are super cockroaches, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, Shad, Shad. Oh, yes, yes. Dra- Dragon's Dogma Two has a boob, ass, and thigh. Did you see that? I, I'm very aware of that. As number one had it, but number two is a bit more detailed. Let's just say. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, so Gamergate One characters. Gamergate One. Gamergate One. So <laughs> it was so public, and I think it was so bad for their their movement uh, that it was so public. They went underground. That's why we're seeing all these. Yeah. These yes. went from Anita Sarkeesian having her her big channel and everybody talking about it to secret only industry <laughs> consulting firms. Where they go into the, they've gone into the businesses and quietly made all these changes, and then now, like you said, we move the refrigerator, and they go. Ah, yeah. Ah, ah. yeah. Uh, but yeah. this is the thing: they would go into these industries and lie. They would say, Absolutely, "This will make yeah. you money," because there's been interviews where people like you and know, threaten say, and threaten yeah, them. Yeah, like Short Fat Ataku did an interview with someone who worked with Saints Row, uh, the, the number, you know, the one that bombed massively. And he was saying the higher ups actually thought this would be successful, going the woke route. And it's because these companies would go in, this will make diversity, you know, inclusion, or just make you more popular. This is what people want. They liked it. And then, of course, they have the racket, the brow beating, the threats. It's like, and if you don't do it, you don't want to be, you don't want to be called a sexist. Mm-hmm. Well, it's, 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 it goes a little bit department. further than that, Shad. You, you're going into companies that have established administrations, right? So the people in your marketing for, in your marketing departments and stuff like that are kind of like 40s, 50s, 60s. So you get these people that come in and you, you and when they say terrify, they're telling them about their jobs. Yeah. Oh, you don't want to be a dinosaur that doesn't get with this progressive system that will be fired from your company if you don't. Yeah. And someone younger who is more in tune with this gets your and they get they that's how they threaten. That's that's the mm-hmm. racket. Yeah. And, and they, they have real world. It, it would be terrible. Yeah, well, it'd be terrible if a bunch of people went on Twitter and started calling your company racist and sexist. Yeah. That'd be an awful yeah. thing. Yeah. To I mean, the least I mean, oh, in showed the threat on tw- on twitter she it felt threatened the- yes. cd project yes. red on twitter in like and then a couple of years later what do we have gary CD project red. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. we got the and then they they talk about inclusion and diversity and all this and then they show all of the images of their campus and their employees and everyone's fucking white every yeah. last person <laughs> yes to the well, about inclusion, diversity, it's the future. It's this, and there's just a white people. It was just such a wonderful fucking. Yep, because they're the ones behind the it. Is, they can the terrify list. people. They, they can terrify people. They have real they world examples. They like, won. Look, this it guy worked. over there, he lost his job. I he lost his, all these mm-hmm. people lost their jobs. We could make you lose your job. This guy over here committed suicide. These are real yes. world cases, yeah. right? Yeah. Where these insane, evil, woke, cancel mob, mob thug scumbags have ruined people's lives, caused people to commit suicide. They're murderous psychopaths, these nutcases well, that go after people, right? The- and that's what they that's the threat that they have. And it's disgusting and then that needs to be turned the tables. No, no well, we need the, to make these companies. Sorry, go Gary. No, no, they need to pay, and and we just need to. Well, gamers are out there. Like, don't don't fuck with gamers. They they are autistic, and they will find clips. They will dig through the internet. They will fucking destroy you. Uh, and that the C, you know, Ryan uh, brought it up. You brought it up in a video. The the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc. There's a whole. There's a bunch of it. Like she tells you exactly who she is. Yes. She's a fucking nut. She's, crazy. she's a racist. Yeah, she's, she's a, a racist. Racist, 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 racist who says you cannot be racist to white people, which means she is perfectly happy to mistreat yes. white people for the sole reason of the color of their skin. That's what that means. She is scum and, and the, openly yeah. and admittedly about it. The Kotaku oh, yeah. article that went and run, uh, ran defense for Sweet Baby Inc., the uh, whatever it was, I don't know what the fuck that was, that oh. uh, wrote it, whatever that thing was that wrote it, uh, somebody said, you do know that the CEO of Sweet Baby Inc. is just racist. And then they replied by saying, 
you can't be racist okay. to white oh, yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then community article. notes absolutely hammered her. So uh, she got ratioed hardcore yeah. too. Well, she protected her. the mentality. Right? That's exactly the mentality. Or, yeah, or, uh, white fucking white liberals that are, that hate their own skin and are quite happy to uh, fall into that real Marxist dogma that they just get lost in. It's it's oh, guys pathetic. I love this picture on the article though because it's it would be a good thumbnail. That's. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> avoid. <laughs> Sensor. Oh, I love avoid. <laughs> <laughs> and they that, actually have all the examples it's, it's, of hey, games. Miles Morales. Got Wait a minute. Up. It's Miles Morales. That's a that. picture. Yeah. That's a picture of my fridge. So that's my I think the avoid is to, to Peter Parker to keep Miles Morales, which is exactly what Spider Man 2 did. Because uh, at the end, Peter's just like, sorry, Miles, you're much better than me because you're black and I'm white. So I'm now going to go off and discover myself, and you are now the hero with Spider-Man going forward, which they confirmed afterwards. Miles is now going to be Spider-Man going forward in the video and game. How many Miles times... literally brings somebody back Dude. from the dead. Yeah, with his uh, black powers. That, that happened. The I, swagger. I, just, magic. That happened black at magic. the end of Iron Fist season two, where Danny Rand basically gives his fucking powers away. Yep. Uh, and then, and then the worst one was Watchmen. Was Watchmen. Ugh. Oh, when God. Dr. Manhattan literally hands his balls to a woman uh, in the form of an egg, but as, in, as, in, a, in, as his power. In blackface. Yeah. In blackface. Black in black face, face. Yeah. Black and blue face. Black and blue face. Black and blue face, yeah. yeah. So, which, it, is, which is something he said to that woman. Uh, Dr. Manhattan turned himself into a black man to make his new black girlfriend more comfortable. <laughs> that actually happens in the show. Really? I, <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh I need gosh. to go back and review that. It is the worst. That. It is the oh, worst God. fucking it's show bad. ever made. <laughs> it's really bad. so bad. It's like, oh, you're so Ozzy racist Man that you can't no. be in a relationship with Ozzy a white person. No, wait, wait. Ozymandias has a, like an illegitimate Vietnamese daughter who's smarter than him, by the way, in that. <laughs> oh, isn't he always farting in it as well? I'm to forget that yes. Show. Yeah. Oh, God. It's, it's because he's got she's flashing. Asian. That's why she's so smart or what? So that's it. The thing that, she, it was X, it was X-ray girl. So, well, the thing that's heartening and encouraging Hardy. about um this GamerGate 2.0 situation is that it seems like the lies that is being sent to those companies are finally getting exposed. It's like the company is starting to wake up. I know too late, but they're starting to say, "Oh, this woke crap isn't popular, and we won't get canceled." In fact, unless you're Warner Brothers this, and you double down, yeah, wait, but, yeah. but if we do this woke, that's crap, a whole other issue. Our products, it our is. games, our movies, our TV shows will bomb drastically because the large scale audience, the gaming community, but just consumers in general, they hate this over politicized, subversive dog crap, and they're rejecting it wholesale. And people are starting to wake up. The cockroaches are being revealed, and that's awesome to see. It's like this is not going to go the way they wanted to it you know in game of gate one and uh, they're going to lose they're going to lose ultimately in the, end. the diff the one of the big differences is now over the past decade we have seen a decline in respect for media in general yes. mainstream media in general but uh, specifically in games journalism a lot of these rags are dying off um these people are more irrelevant now than they were a, a couple years ago absolutely so when they are all you know standing fast with sweet baby ink everyone just mocking the shit out of yeah. them yeah. all of them are getting yes. destroyed all of them are getting ratioed so that, that i think that's why it feels it, it's a that meme of right all now. the people talking and they're like we stand with baby ink and they're just like good job yep it also exposes them not that they needed to be exposed these rag you know game journalist companies stuff like that but then it just shows you like it reaffirms what side they what they're against you know the average person anti-gamer they, they fucking yeah, hate yeah. gamers they yeah. hate yeah. great yes. white men and that mm -hmm. is the like that is the biggest portion of their audience straight white men and they can't stand that they fucking hate that you heard kim yep. belair talk about that that's the problem is your demographics your audience yeah. um yeah, the ahead. ceo of sweet baby inc called most like the the, the vast majority of the gaming audience cry babies they're a bunch of babies yeah. that well they're picky, what, ba what, picky, picky babies. babies yeah yeah, yeah. i'm pretty well, sure that's the I, reason why they named the company sweet baby inc oh yeah oh i just thought it was a dating site for pedophiles 
<laughs> well, it looks like it. Ooh. Could be. Got the icon for it. I meant to That's just what say it that. Sounds like. yeah. That's and what it, it sounds like to me. Their mentality is unbelievable. It's like the gaming audience is very clear what they want. And they're like, no, 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 no. We'll tell you what you want. And if you don't like it, we will call you a bigot, sexist, mm. racist, all, all yep. this crap. And uh, they they despise gamers. And it's unbelievable. And then they think, what, you think that's going to work? Insulting us and, tell, and then trying to tell us what we should want? And gamers have rejected it completely they did it back in game because, Day because mm -hmm. they, sweet baby isn't a company that is set up for a gamer it's a company that's set up to go into gaming companies but essentially to 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 grift them to strong arm them uh mm -hmm. and so they they are complete and utterly anti-gamer they, they are not looking to to go into that gaming company and say look let's troubleshoot where you want to go and let's see where we can we can actually make this for your target audience they actively go in, and in the I, I watched the whole of that conference to the uh, to the uh, game developers. I, I watched the whole thing. I went through the whole thing, and she she actively says, uh, "You need to let go of your target audience and start to uh, tell joyful stories and give joyful moments to absolute minuscule minorities." Essentially, her. Yeah, she was. She was essentially saying, "You, I, I, you need to make a story that makes me happy." Well, as go I make a game. The number of yeah, characters. Kim, that Kim looks go like make your own CEO. game. Oh yeah, they're, they're, they're oh, all dude, of them. Like every one of them. Yeah. one of them. Yeah, but you're right. Well, is... Go make their own. Go make your own game. But the issue is, they know that they will fail, which is the reason why they have to latch onto these companies like a parasite. Yeah. The next evolution in this kind of kickback, this pushback, is to realize that Sweet Baby Inc. is just one amongst many. And yes. many. Dog, yeah. many. And there's all not even, these dog that's just a third party company. companies. Embedded. We're not talking, they're embedded within the corporations. That's why yes. it's, it, it's going to be very interesting to see how they, they undo this, which they can't. They, they just can't. Yeah. It's well, that's the cancers. thing. I, I think Sweet Baby Inc. knows that their name is toxic and that like the website is down. I think they're just gonna try to rebrand. It's not, they're it's gonna not, rebrand. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. What it's they've not done what? is they put a they put a DDoS protection over oh. it. Oh, okay, that's that's all it is, they've uh, done. They put a DDoS protection over it. So when your when your IP hits, if it's like going through a mask, then it will prevent you from going to the site. Uh, if not, I you can just go straight through to the site. Yeah, that's it, it's, it's also not true that they've changed their mission statement. That's not true. Their mission statement is exactly the same on the front page. Hasn't changed a bit. They haven't but removed I, diversity or inclusion. I, I wouldn't be surprised. Well, I wouldn't be surprised they rebrand at some point. Yeah, I they're not going to yeah. go anywhere though. And it doesn't matter. Even if they went out of business tomorrow, uh, there is still BlackRock out there. Even though they they yeah. they had to basically admit defeat and say it. Yes, it's damaging our overall brand. Going woke, which Disney had to do a few months ago, they're just gonna reword it. You yeah, know, it's, yeah. like, yeah. it's like when yeah. when, when the government sure. dissolves a three letter agency, they just give it another name. That's all they yeah, yeah. do. They just yeah. move so it. They don't, and, they don't Gary, get rid of anything. Your analogy of cockroaches, Gary, is more apt because if if Sweet Baby Inc. just suddenly closes their doors, all the people working for them are just gonna skitter out and try and get into other game yeah. development companies, yeah. other consultancy groups, because a lot of the people who are in Sweet Baby everything. They're all from Gamergate. They're the same yes, people. Right. Yeah, the same people. Same people, same people, people that were involved with this frequency that are involved with yeah. Sweet Baby Inc. What's really yeah. good is that this can only affect massive AAA corporations. Mm. It can't affect small three crews of, of making games. No, no dev team that is smaller that can't afford this crap can, af can, can afford oh. both for them and for the failure that that will bring. So, in also right now in the games industry, we're seeing so much pushback against AAA, not just the woke crap, but the the loot boxes and live service garbage, all of that. It's like a big trifecta that's just hitting all at the same time with Suicide Squad kills the Justice League story, live service, Sweet Baby Inc., all this shit, all hitting at the same time. Girls in baseball. And we're all going in a different direction. We're going to double A. We're going to single yeah. A. That's what people want to see. But that's getting better and better because they're getting Absolutely, more tools, yeah. more accessibility. And so if the triple A gaming industry needs to die, we'll be fine. We'll still get great games. <laughs> yeah. We, we don't them. need Absolutely. you. Same way with Hollywood. We don't need you anymore. Mm. And they're, and fig they're are... figuring that out. So yeah. yeah. And the few gaming companies that are not on board with this crap that are making good games with all the sliders that people want, Dragon's Dogma 2, are just going to be the next oh my God, big thing. 
Yeah, I, I think I Dragon's Dogma wait. 2 is going to sell. I think it's going to be a oh, big... Oh, Game of the Year. Game of the Year, baby. I don't even know what you're talking about. So. I don't know. Game of the Year? Hell oh, Gary, bro. you're just you're just testing us. I am. I, that's what I do. That's what I do. Hey, so this uh, this uh, Yara... Did I say it right? Yara! Yara. Yara. Really is, well pronounced. Yara nice. comic is coming out on Monday, the 11th. Yes, sir. So do we have yes. something that... Is there like... Uh, well, I, mean, I guess there's nothing to show right now because it... There it is a lot open. to show. I just haven't been cleared to show. Ah! <laughs> I'll show this. So cute. Yeah, that is actual behind the scenes of us working on Yaira. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I don't know how you got that. That's great. Wow. There's some cameras in here. That's yeah, also paparazzi. how we become Eric July. We activate our powers. Yeah, uh, no, we merge into one Eric. Yeah. Warm yeah. of <laughs> hairy shoulders. Activate blackface. Yeah, I was gonna say two white women make a, a, a black man. Black okay. Man. Yeah. All right. That's weird. That's a math check. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Cancel math. each other out. Uh, well, Chrissy's, I, I Chrissy's making a little boy right now. So yeah. But it's, uh, <laughs> is there anything we could? Is there anything we can show, or is it? Are we just? Is there anything about we can show? Hmm. Um, well, I think Eric said something about something to do with uh, Ripiverse Studios, but I think that's getting launched at eight a.m. PST on Monday. Monday. Oh, okay. I will say that a lot of people have been asking about uh, if there's any attachment. We had that really awesome animation with Alpha Core, and there will be something. Yeah. Ooh, there. Uh, nice. There are some of your favorite Ooh. artists working in comic books now that have lent their talent to Yaira. Some of the covers are, the covers are insane. Uh, oh yeah, the extras are insane. There's a, a some things to unlock that I can't believe Eric pulled up. Well, I can because Eric's magical. Eric just disappears and he comes back and he's like, "This is what we're doing." We're all like, "Oh wow, this is sick." I will say, if you just want to, I, I mean, I'm, no one reads their Ripperverse comics anyway. Oh. Yeah, you don't have to. No, yeah. but hey, no, you I don't, don't have to read any of them to jump into Yaira. Yaira does a really good job of uh, catching you up with her relationship with other characters. Who? That she with, might who? with who? With who? With I'm who? not sure. Other characters in the Ripperverse, mm. like I think uh, there's there's Isom, there's Alpha Core. Who knows? Who knows if they meet each other in a book that Ooh. very much uh, is building towards them all interacting again? <laughs> <laughs> Eric is magical. The American Society of Magical Negroes. Todd goes goodbye when they said that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could let that go. <laughs> no. I could let it go. It's quality. Uh, that's well. That's cool. Looking forward to Monday. Monday's oh, gonna be okay. a crazy day, isn't it, Garrett? Oh yeah, it's gonna oh, be a man. big one. Also, if any, thank you to yep. the fans that are here and the lurkers that don't speak but just listen. Thank Hi, you for being here. Uh, a lot of you are asking, can my kid or can my daughter or whoever read Yaira? You're asking the wrong girls because I was watching Hellraiser under 12. I was watching horror movies. And I, I, Chris, Chris Claremont, the kinkiest X-Men writer, was my first guy. So uh, I turned out to be a horror movie director. It didn't mess me up too bad. I'm just more fun at a party, I guess. If you could handle Sam Raimi Spider-Man, you can handle it. Yeah. Him. That's, That's fine. A hundred percent. Yeah. There's no, uh, there's, I mean, there's, I can't say anything else that we might be working on. But if you're looking for. You Okay, there might be bloodier things in the works, but not here. I mean, there's some, yeah. yeah. Yara gets her period, the Marvel. <laughs> At the International <laughs> Women's Day. <laughs> I will say wow. that Yara uh, doesn't abide by laws. Like, uh, the. She kind of makes her own rules. Right? It's a different change of pace. I mean, we just had Alpha Core, which is the super police, and now she's the person the super police are chasing. Yeah, so that's going to be fun. I can, so ide is, I can uh, identify uh, with that. On a human level. <laughs> you finally get to see us so represented. I do. Before. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Matt Gary Gary was in Alpha Core. Matt Gary was in Alpha Core. Uh, well, based yes, on I, what we've heard, I feel like Gary's hair looked a lot like Yaira's when he first went to prison. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> it did. You're looking mighty fine there, Gary Locke. <laughs> it did it didn't last long did it gary oh uh, you forgot the follow-up line which That's is you, you want some of my sack lunch oh. <laughs> <laughs> god damn that was fucking horrifying 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to prison, Gary. Welcome to prison. Dude, I'm, I walk in the main gate and you're looking up like all the, there's like four rows, right? So I'm looking up that and that's what I hear. And I'm like, I am in the wrong place. There's been a terrible, <laughs> it's been a terrible mistake. <laughs> I have made a mistake. Some people, go, <laughs> some people go through that experience and decide, you know what? I'm not fucking doing this again. Yeah. Other people People then go on Joe Rogan's podcast and murder someone. <laughs> oh. So just <laughs> I forgot. I forgot Isn't, what the troll for Jamie was. Sometimes it doesn't. Somebody, somebody said Jamie pull out the head from the freezer or something like oh, that. Oh. <laughs> Jamie, pull that out. Pull that. Pull, Jamie, out. pull that out. Oh no! Oh, oh, pull out those legs. It was. It was bad. It was the, the oh, trolling man, is is bad. I guess he says he's innocent. Uh, I'm sure that's what you're yes. supposed to say. Wow. At that point. But there's, I think How there's, did a, I, get that? I, was no, for a friend. Human head I think there's, a, I think one part of a body was in a blue container and there's like a picture of him with the blue like container. Yeah. Like there's security camera container. footage. Oh, yeah. I'm, Jesus. It's life is dark, man. Can't wait to watch a true crime video. Life is proven guilty. You know, again, I, as right? a, as an, as an ex-felon, I think we need better uh, prison advocates. Okay. Just, just saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody, please. Uh, you guys ready for soups? You guys hey, before for we go into soups, oh, yeah. we should watch that animation. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And Mikey, we're gonna get right to you, Let's man. I love you, Mikey Gusla. Just want to point that out. All right, let's go. Oh, yeah, the FNT background uh, gate. I think there's a lot of me in this. There is. <clears throat> I love to see myself. Should be like new new angle who did. Yes, keep uh, it. Yeah, keep it. It's a great angle. Put up a poll, X-ray girl. X-ray girl. Yeah, Ryan, put up a poll. Exactly it's got your name right above it. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Are you guys gonna talk over the toys? It's perfect. Is everybody gonna talk over it? Why are you taking advice from Brian? His backdrop usually looks like ass. Well, how are Brian's backdrop's on fire by the looks of it? It looks fantastic. You're not even on camera, you fucking when you are. You're on the internet, and no one can fucking see anything. What are you talking about? And it still looks better than what you all got off the time. Fucking one megabyte oh, per wow. second download, bitch. I hope the email is destroy your <laughs> so much love. This is so great. This part, uh, you, feel it, man. Yeah, yeah, you can feel it. Uh, Change the angle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the angle we have. Uh, <laughs> how I hate your fucking new background, Ryan Kinnell. <laughs> yeah, but what I didn't say, like, by the absence of me saying that I love it, you should just know that I preferred the old one. Not mm. just so that I love it, but I preferred it. Yeah, but I like know. it's just so unnecessary. Like he, he's just, Why like, you talking. Unnecessary, like no, the no, emphasis no, no, no. on the wrong like, syllable. I'm the only one of all you motherfuckers who will actually be honest and tell him the truth, right? You're gonna fucking coddle him and be like, "What a great that's change, ads. It's a brilliant change, ads, All right, and that's wow. coming from the heart. Do, do whatever feels right to you. It's kind of female to be that upset about this dude's background. <laughs> <laughs> you know I want to know what the fuck I did to Ryan. What did I do to you? I'm saying that I love you, you motherfucker. <laughs> 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 What do you marry her? I fucking liked you before. <laughs> I, that I liked your background, and then you went and fucking did that. All right? What, for, what do you fucking want from me? I don't know. It's just like fucking Del's blood over his walls or something. What do you want from me? This is the greatest conversation I've ever had in my life. <laughs> 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 we are retarded. Why are you listening to us, Del? Why are you watching? Uh, this is like uh, Doom Part 2 like drama. Guy, you changed as <laughs> <laughs> yeah. exactly. He's gonna ride off on his sandworm and hit his on on bucket. What are you doing, yeah. X-ray girl? We need a pole in it, like yeah. yeah, where's the pole? <laughs> Come on! You yeah. 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 Wake up, X-ray girl. I think they already did one in the corner. Yeah, three minutes. Corner yeah. new angle. 68%. Okay. Okay. Good. All right. Okay. Hey, a bunch I of progressives that want change in chat. I'm not, I'm not watching the screen. Corner new angle straight. Oh, straight. 
Straight Why on. Why Debbie straight? <laughs> and, 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 and <laughs> catch in hell too, and she actually did her job. We're still yelling at her. I got you, X-ray. I yeah. saw it. She said, "There is a pole." Damn it! <laughs> we got to. We got I, I can yell at everyone and still read the private <laughs> chat. I'm like, oh, you. people. <laughs> people. Uh, uh, hey, we got one for nerd cookies here from the Iron. Uh, Iron. I. Iron. Iron. Well done. Wow, beautiful. That was awesome. Who did that? That was 1 800. Oh, crap. It switched to this other one. 1 800 Danky on YouTube. 1 800. Thank you. That's pretty cool. Thank you. I'm so, Garrett, I'm so glad your comment about the syllable got in because <laughs> that was so fast without any any break. That was it, such me a and Garrett break. both were like, "Why the fuck did you say it?" Like, yeah, so weird. It's He's like, it's so unnecessary. <laughs> necessary. Necessary. Says it like that. Uh. It. Hey, it's his birthday. I love the camera angle change. I look perfectly normal when I'm looking at that. <laughs> but we moved away. there and I look like the guy at the end of fucking Robocop. <laughs> <laughs> like Baron Harkin. Baron Harkin. <laughs> oh, it's Jeremy's birthday. Maybe he'll get some Happy shoes birthday. with some laces this year if he Maybe. knows how to tie yeah. them. Not really oh. sure. Yeah, I went there. He's from Alabama. <laughs> You just Alabama. need someone you know to tie them once, and you're good for a couple he, months. He's the type so, of person. So he's why they invented audiobooks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and Velcro shoes. Yep. I saw your video on audiobooks, Shad. I watched it. Yep. Yep. I mean, Brandon yeah. Sanderson strong arm. Yep. Yeah, that's Keep good. Chad move. As somebody who's going to have an audiobook coming out, I was like, ah. Right. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I like. It, it could be a lot better, but th this change is very much thanks to Brandon's direct, you know, influence. So, uh, and it's tried to support, you know, independence from the get go. So as a legend, uh, Audible could do a lot better. I suspect it's probably just going to be like a 10% increase, uh, like I said in the video, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. And, uh, you know, hopefully things will It's a proper author right there. He's not like saying, yeah, wow, all you people waiting for my, my book are sad. Oh, that's George. Yeah. That's yeah. George R. Yeah. Martin. It's because he writes like six years. He actually, year, so he actually yeah. not yeah. only he not only delivers, he writes secret friggin' books and then puts them out. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. Like, us other writers are just looking at him like, yeah, you a robot. How are you doing this? But he's a legend. He's, he's so good. He's using AI, if that's what it is, Shad. <laughs> he is AI. That's my sister. Why do you think I like AI? I, I want uh Mikey Gussler. You knew Mikey. he'd be here for Snyder. I know, big Zack big Zach Snyder fan. We love Mikey. I love you, Mikey. Seven parts for $140. Mikey, we love you. Damn. He's a, probably going to roast the shit out of us, but that's fine. <laughs> Seven parts, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. Seven even, parts. Before we even talked about it, probably. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of people talking about uh, taking Snyder's time with Joe Rogan out of context, like bounding into comics and others. Eh, not unusual. Uh, first thing is people are upset that Snyder said that people treat Batman like a god. This is very true. I I, I disagree, but uh, that's okay. Um, people have their ideas of their uh, in their head of what Batman uh, can't kill because it's source material. However, there have been many different interpretations of Batman over the years. That includes him killing uh, some with a gun. Uh, we see Batman kill in the movies as with Keaton. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure he killed somebody with the uh, Gatling guns he had on the fucking oh, yeah, mobile. He killed, he killed a couple of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, he, he did. He did. Uh, he, Val uh, Christian guy, Bale. He grabbed the guy, threw him down the uh, bell, yep. bell, bell tower shaft. Who has the highest kill count uh, since his tumbler crushes uh, many police and civilian cars throughout the films, uh, yet people uh, think it's just Snyder. Uh, I mean... That's what it might sound like, Mikey, but people were actually bitching about uh, Michael Keaton. Uh, people were bitching about Nolan, that those conversations were ha were had. And it just looked like it was done more overtly in the Snyder Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. And that's why yeah. I have said to this very day, we have never seen Batman on screen, ever. <clears throat> no. Uh, yes, well, Correct. we have. Well, not on... Uh, live action. Live, live action. action. Yeah. L.A. The, as the... The animated series is... Yes. Yes. Chef's Kiss. Yes, but live action, we have never seen Batman... Uh, a proper Batman on screen. Uh, people who are sharing clips of the Rogan episode haven't watched the full video. I did. 
Uh, to get the full context, Snyder says in the show that he's fine with people not liking his movies and respects the fans and lo <clears throat> love for the comics, and that's good. I think yeah. I think him saying his approach, uh, he's deconstructionist. Is uh, I I've always thought that. Um, that's why I think he did a phenomenal job with uh, Watchmen. I think that mm -hmm. that was perfect for him. I think he would have been better just adapting The Dark Knight Returns. Dark Knight. If he had just done that, it had yeah. probably been fucking rad. And he did That's it. That's what yeah. he said he wanted to do. Yeah. It's like, just do that, man. Just do that. Good material, your visuals. Perfect. Well, he really mm -hmm. understood that Frank Miller aesthetic that was started with Sin City, one of the greatest comic mm -hmm. book adaptations ever. That needs to be on fucking 4K like now. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it would come across very good, though. I'm not sure how they filmed it. but uh, And 300 was a great adaptation of, of mm, Frank perfect, Miller's book. Perfect. So uh, I think he would have been really good for that. But you will have people like Bounding or a drinker or anyone uh, on this podcast <laughs> looking at you as, uh, sorry, yeah. uh, paint a false narrative because they believe that Snyder did something bad on the charity stream three years ago. I'm telling you. You are wrong. He did something bad. He did yeah, do something bad. He did, he did uh, do something bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and by the way, he acknowledged that yeah, behind the scenes. That's not for debate. <clears throat> by the behind the scenes, he acknowledged that. Let's just let's make that clear. So, um, he did do something bad. He disrespected a bunch of people who were donating, uh, because he was getting pressured by his wife and uh, Warner Brothers. Warner. Yeah. yeah it, yes. Like the. The big thing is that he acknowledged all the backlash it caused by his comments that I, those are two co separate comments that he fucking yeah. connected. Yes. And it sounded like that's yeah. what he said. And when he refused to publicly, uh, when he refused to publicly make that clear, that's when it became a real issue. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like not, not setting the record straight. And, and not setting the record that. straight. And it became more of an issue. And then uh, it, and by the time, Snyder had realized what had happened. There's really nothing that could have been done. You know? Well, one, one day later certainly would have helped, right? The, the, yes, the following I agree. day when we talked to him about it, everything that happened, certainly would have been nice. He's like, well, I can give you a statement that you guys can put, put out and say it's from me. What the fuck is that going to do? Like, what, yeah. what, what good does that do? Hey, he told us he didn't mean it, guys. Like, that's nothing. You can't make the soup at that point, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's, that's the game. That's the game of internet optics. They aren't Always authentic. I know. Crazy. Uh, Mikey Gussler for $20, part six. He did not uh, equate geeks and gamers to a hate group, and 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 he said as much. And all the people that believe that they are either lying to create a fake narrative or you gaslight yourself so much that you don't think any director hates your guts. <clears throat> uh, at the time... I don't think any of us really thought. Uh, well, I'll speak for myself. I don't think he he was talking about that. I think it was just as Ryan said, but it didn't matter. It's what it looked like. It's what mm. it looked like. You know, yeah, it's what it looked <clears> like. <throat> what people ran with. Yeah. Yep, it's what people ran with. Mikey Gussler, uh, sorry, not sorry. I'm done with this lie that's been going over for years now. If any one of you still wants to that apology from Snyder, uh, you should apologize to him as well uh, for the slanders you have. Provided good night. Good night. And thank you, Mikey. I don't recall I'm not <clears throat> game with him, I, No. I criticize his movies. Yeah, I Why criticize is this, his movies. This echo like chamber is just off the charts. Right? I know, yeah. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Rebel Moon was trash, but like <clears throat> like you said, man, 300 was a great fucking movie. And, and keep in mind that like people talk to Snyder afterwards. Okay, so they, I mean, they know what the truth is. They yeah. know what the truth is. And we've already talked about this when it happened. Water we, under the bridge. Yeah. We yeah. talked about all this already. Honestly, I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, it's like so three years ago. <laughs> it yeah. gives a shit. You know, yeah, I think uh, we've all, on. It's all okay. moved yeah. on at this point. Yeah. Uh, not another dime has gifted 20 nerdrotic memberships for $100. <laughs> yes. uh, Sandy Q has gifted 10 nerdrotic memberships for $50. Thank you. No, 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 Gary. It's thank you. Q. Thank you. Q. Oh, when you thank right. Sandy, it's thank, thank you. Q. Oh, okay. Uh, As, I, I thought you were doing some type of gang sign. I, huh? I thought you were doing some type of gang sign or something weird with you. How dare you? How? <laughs> how dare you? You over there? How dare you? Where? Where? Can you point? 
You look like one of those yeah. German N words, as. Yeah. <laughs> nine. <laughs> There's nine of us here, right? Uh, uh, you, you just took that and ramped it up to eleven. <laughs> That's what I do. That's what I do. And it's what I do that defines me. <laughs> Gary, we're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You. Sorry, Gary, 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 Gary opened his mouth as if to breathe, and I thought I was going to say, it out. I was Jesus. just, yeah, oh, no. I was just about to read a super chat. He said, "Gary," you know, like I had to. I was flipping between screens, though. It took a minute. I'm an old man. We're not as fast and nimble as I used to be. Okay, <laughs> give me a break. Like an eternity. Oh, no. do, 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 do. Uh, Shadow Saiyan seven three seven thirty seven. Didn't a didn't a plane? Didn't we have two incidents with planes in the last week or so? Like a, a, a oh thank god! I thought yeah. a I tire no was going. a tire fell tire off, fell off. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. at SFO and it and then, crushed a bunch of cars in the parking lot. And then, and then Houston the land, oh. landing gear, yeah, landing gear malfunction in uh, Houston. Was that today or just in the it was last today? I think it was today. Definitely. I'm really dro- tired yeah. of all these plane malfunctions. <laughs> <laughs> She's a professional, folks. Don't try this yeah. at home, okay? <laughs> I heard they're having a problem with diversity like tires. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was good. <laughs> but hey, that, that that tire, I was going to say, that tire popped out for cigarettes. Mm. Menthol? <laughs> <laughs> but Chrissy, you've got an excuse. You can just blame uh, Dude, brain. That's dude, where, where was it? What <laughs> city... What city where they were going to ban menthols and they said it was racist? Um, I thought it was San Francisco <laughs> or something. Like San Francisco. <laughs> what? I never heard that. Oh, ah, yes. That's, I, that's oh, hilarious. God. Why would it be racist? I'm we, so live, we live in clown well, world. Yeah, in clown. Right. It's racist to ask, Shad. Gosh. Dude, yeah, even well, when well, I well, was well. a smoker and I was out of cigarettes, I would not smoke a menthol. Ugh, it's like, I mean, uh, if we're in a world where yeah. arriving no on like time is white Come supremacy, on. why not menthol as well? Sure. Yep. Okay. Uh, Shadow Saiyan 737 for $49.99. <laughs> Rest in peace to the great Akira Toriyama. Did I say that right? Toriyama. Rest in peace. Yeah. That's sad. Kind of a popular guy. Like, my kids came, uh, came out of the room, and they're like, oh, dude, did you hear? And I'm like, they told me the name. I'm like, isn't that the guy who wrote Berserk? Isn't he? Uh, he already died. He died. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel the heartbreak in your voice, Gary. It's really, really cut off a bit. Oh, my God. Us Dragon Ball Z fans are I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. It's not funny. It's not funny. It sucks, man. I was sad when Stan it died. Sucks. Well, well it's the the fact that the person died and passed. That's not funny. Yeah, that's it not is funny. funny that you don't know the difference between Asian names. That is the that funny. Is what's funny. <laughs> that's, right. that's what's funny. Yeah. Just to be very clear, they're all the same, right? That's I mean, racist. <laughs> I, Akira is that Discord. He asks for Canadians, and myself and Perry have to answer, or the Asians. Uh, well, my favorite one was that was that picture of uh, Campia and Simu Lu, and I put it in the Discord. I'm like, how dare you! Perry, you betray me. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then Perry says, fuck you. That was X-Ray Girl, dude. <laughs> uh, Toma. It is. Uh, Perry, Perry Chan will always be yes. my beautiful Asian princess. Yes. I was impressed at how quickly X-Ray Girl was able to learn archery in that film to kill the dragon. <laughs> Yeah, um, I learned it for yeah, obviously. Dude, I can do everything. X-ray girl fought off some samurais like in the last episode of Shogun. So oh, did, did a pretty good oh, job. Yeah, yeah with like okay. a spear or something. Yeah. Is the plural of samurai yeah. samurais? Samurais? Or is it I, just look at how samurai. Many samurai we have? I don't know. I think it's just samurai. Samurai, samurai. I was gonna like, I hope you're asking somebody who's written a book and Samurai's, not somebody who's yeah. been kicked out of three high school. <laughs> Ladies, are you releasing a book? Yeah. As as a writer of books, is it what's the plural of samurai? What's the what? Yes. What's the plural? <laughs> Oh, you fucking <laughs> right. Yeah, you all didn't, the you samurais didn't I've written about, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's samurai like Jedi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I, I that sounds better. 
It has an S. Yeah, Google says it does. Oh, fucking dead. Yeah. <laughs> what, really? what does Google Gemini do apart from turn them black? Yeah. <laughs> Tomok for fifty dollars. His arms on fur. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Master gamer Gary can tell us. Yes, I can. Uh, what is the one place not corrupted by capitalism? Uh, not corrupted by capitalism. Yeah. What is it? That sounds sounds commie. I, do, I don't think capitalism's corruption. No, Super, like inherently, it's a gamer it's, question. I obviously no, have no idea what how to answer. I can't even make up one to make it funny. So I have no fucking idea. Help me chat. <laughs> Help me chat. Help me chat. Give me a lifeline, chat. Come on, <laughs> quick! <laughs> I'm dying here. The moon. <laughs> I don't know. The one Libraries. The one place not corrupted by capital. Capitalism is not a corruption. Okay. Space. I mean, it could be not a corruption. If Capitalism in the free sport, market is wonderful. Yes, okay. That's it. That's it. That's, that's the it. answer. Bucky's, the citadel of capitalism, should be in every <laughs> <Bucky's>. state. <laughs> Fucking Bucky's. Bucky's is capital, pure capitalism. It's a gas station oh, with a thousand North pumps Korea. and it's a grocery store. And pretty soon you're going to be able to get like full body massages in there and hire hitmen like an HEB. Excuse me. Except when it enables the robot uprising. That's where I draw the line. Well, you're enabling the robot yeah, uprising. What do you, what the hell are you doing? Robot right. sympathizer? I, I have a video coming out. God. That Let's wait for that, then. There's a big reveal. Yeah, wait <laughs> yeah. for my video. Yeah. Wait for my video. <laughs> <laughs> well, Elon Musk wants bloody ghosts in the shell, for fuck's sake. No. I mean... Yeah, robots is where we need to draw the line. You'll find out why in my video. I, I love it, Elon that. calling out AI, but then, like, you're putting a neural link in, dude. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> they've been working on that for a long time. And I remember there being serious problems with it in 2018 when I was working there. I'm sure they worked them all out. But, uh, yeah. Dude, somebody uh, just, for Christmas or his birthday, somebody needs to just fucking buy him the Blu-ray Ghost in the Shell movie. It'll, it'll yeah. fucking do a 180 on that shit. Right? But, like, to me, listen, I... I you see a lot of stories about oh this Tesla it started driving and hit like that's few and far between right but let's work all those problems out a zero failure on the Tesla just before you put that technology in people's heads and all of a sudden they start running around doing random shit right okay that's all I'm saying I say figure out all that and never put a large language model uh, in uh, anything that can be autonomous in the real world I say I'm that glad. Be the line. Th this is where the great advantage of being old I don't have to put up with any of this shit. I'll be yeah, dead by the time it's yeah, all we'll implemented. Soon, yeah. Yeah. So, so will I, but it's not because yeah. I'm old. No, no it's just because just you're can Ryan. You imagine, <laughs> like, you guys, can, you, can you imagine Google Gemini being put into a robot or a car? It's gonna or your head? Or your fucking like, head? Yeah. yeah. Run over white people. Exactly. It's, 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 that's the apocalypse we need to be worried Wait about. Wait a minute. You might be onto something there. If we put it just yeah. in the San Franciscans' heads... Uh, Oh. oh no! Well, they're, they're, they're already so drones. Yeah. <laughs> we would all get jobs with Hollywood. Uh, I'm escaping to the one place that hasn't been corrupted by capitalism. Okay. To run Space. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Tim Curry. <laughs> Love Tim Curry. Hail Tim Curry. Hail oh, Tim Curry. Command and Conquer. That's what it's from. Yeah. Red Alert. I, I, I think that's going to say Red Alert. Alert. Yeah. I played Tiberian Sun. I didn't play Red Alert. Uh, Classic game, man. Ah, oh, Red Alert. Yeah, I've played so many games, I just forgot about that. Okay. Uh, B Chain, <laughs> 315. <laughs> Two parts for $60. Hail. <laughs> Suddenly, you were gone. From all the lives you left your mark upon, Neil Peart. Oh. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, man. God. Uh, I, fucking Rush. Rush is great. They sing a song about trees, and it's <laughs> fucking awesome. Okay. Uh, which could be. I don't. I, I don't know how Neil Peart because uh, uh, he wrote the lyrics. I don't know what his intention was, but if you listen to the song "Trees" now, it really talks about collectivism and how uh, and how uh, or equity. I think it would be a a good uh, calling out equity. Because uh, all the trees are kept equal by having them chopped down. Because the oaks were too greedy. You guys don't even know what the fuck I'm talking I'm about. I'm listening to that. No, I know what you're talking about. It sounds like meth, Gary. 
<laughs> Jesus Christ. There's like there's some there's some old farts in the yeah. chat who know what I'm talking about. Uh, I was re-listening to this song. Talking about a book or something? Oh, uh, it's Rush. It's Rush. It's, Rush. it's a band. Oh, oh God. I wasn't listening. Canada. Never mind. Yeah, yeah you're in yeah. Canada. You should, Canadian. You should know exactly yeah. what I'm talking about. Uh after May what's What's this word, X-ray after girl? After image. After image. Okay, is that like a? Com- oh, Neil Pert. After image. This is one we need to protect. We have uh, to love and cherish. Groups like Sweet Baby Inc. wouldn't hesitate to desecrate uh, Toriyami's legacy, uh, among others. The love we have for these stories, characters, and those who created them will never be understood by these activists. Hail to the fellowship! And you're absolutely right. I mean, rings of power. Mm-hmm. That was a giant sea change in culture when Rings of Power came out and people saw exactly how much they were willing to subvert. Uh, and uh, now we are, suppo- according to Screen Rant, so I'm not, I'm sure that's, a, that's the, the citadel of journalism, uh, <laughs> we're going to get uh, the Rings of Power not only this year, but this year in summer, which I think is total bullshit, by the way. Utter no. bullshit. We're, we're <laughs> Gary, few- I'll, I'll, t- I'll tell you why. Tell me why. Tell me why. I knew he was going to say that. Yeah. I looked right at Ryan. I knew he was thinking about it. Well, yeah. I decided to pass after, after, after. I didn't hear the conversation the about Rush, so I decided to pass after. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was that as? I, I put it in the private chat. That's that's why it's. No. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, really? The, the thousands of people. Yeah. 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 So. Nothing. um. Nothing. <laughs> Not coming out this summer, folks. Uh, as much as no. as much as I'd love it to, okay. <laughs> I wish it came out tomorrow, uh, but it's better for the world that it's not coming out this summer. Uh, I, I I didn't hear the reason. I just heard it was uh, not coming out this year. So they still say it's possible, I mean, uh, but it's 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 possible. But I mean, we're in March now. Times are ticking, and nothing yet. That's, that's all I know. That's, that's crazy. What I know. Oh, we got House of the Dragon in June. I'm fine with that. That's right. Fine. And the Acolyte. Dude. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a bloodbath. House of the Dragon that? going up against the Acolyte both in June. <laughs> Do you know that was like a movie release on Netflix last night that no one is talking about? Uh, the Gentleman came out, the series. Oh, it's out know. now. Yeah, it is. No, no. Ooh. I'm talk- I, I don't want to review it, but people are asking me to. It's the oh, damsel. Uh, damsel, damsel did. Damsel. Yes, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch it this weekend. Really? Uh, oh, I don't no. want to, Gary. I uh, don't wanna... It looks so bad. It's fucking cringe. It is super cringe. Uh, it is it, the hero's journey done for the fiftieth time in the last two years. Yeah, was, it, 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 yeah. It, it looks like women don't need no man. I'll slay the dragon myself and then conquer the kingdom Millie Bobby well. Brown is getting fucking annoying. That's all I'm saying. She's They're getting... trying to make her be a thing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and uh, it's just, it's a, she's annoying. I've never watched Stranger Things. So I think the only other thing I've seen her in is those fucking Godzilla Kong movies. Yeah, she's annoying in those. But uh, the, uh, what the fucking Sherlock Holmes one? Um, Nola. Uh, yeah, I never watched that. Nola Holmes. Yeah, yeah. No I, 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 ten, no I couldn't get past ten minutes. It's fucking the worst. Or Henry Cavill. <laughs> I know he's. He, that's all. He, he, he's just bait and switch, casting. dude. He's just bait and switch, dude. That's all he fucking is. Argyle, Witcher, and Anola Holmes. But like at least Gary, at least Anola Holmes. It's not like they called that Sherlock Holmes. True. <laughs> and then that was right. the, what happened. Good like point. They called it Good Anola point. Holmes. I love over the weekend or over the week we saw that clip from Argyle. Uh, Argyle so, go so around. Nobody, nobody saw it. Nobody saw. I, I like, have no idea. What only that was. us, man. I, I tried to describe to people how fucking cringe that was seen, and then all of a sudden, like two months later, somebody releases it on Twitter, and they go, "What the fuck?" Yeah, I know. Is this? I, I was wondering what the fuck What is it? I was like, "Holy shit!" I was like, that reset my brain with how bad it was. I was just, I was like, "What? What? What am I looking? What? What is this from?" And then, I, oh, is that that? Oh my! Garrett's gosh. description for that movie is perfect. It's like uh, Matthew Vaughn had to make that for his wife or something. He was like, <laughs> yep. there, he was under duress. There was no way. Every director has a stinker. You get a divorce, man. <laughs> it's always an option. Okay, it's just it's on the table. Uh, Patrick M has gifted twenty neurotic memberships for one hundred dollars. Thank you, Patrick. Hail the members. Thank you. Uh, there'll be a members watch party for 
What's coming on? Maybe, maybe, damsel? maybe damsel, maybe damsel. Maybe we should do that. I'm Cause sorry, yeah. Guys. Thank you for committing me to another stream, which I cannot commit to. Cause I have, uh, <laughs> I'm going to be on unsubscribe tomorrow. Uh, then we got George and then we got forbidden frontier and then I'm going to be on the Oscars thing. And then we got a special thing on Monday, which I haven't announced yet, which would be kind of crazy. Pretty big. Can't pretty talk big. about it. Pretty big. Pretty big. Uh, <laughs> John McKinley for forty nine ninety nine. <clears throat> Gary, love the shirt, man. That's right. Hey, I freaking love this movie. Okay. Boondock Saints. <laughs> fucking goat. Uh, was a get- fight? Yeah, dude. I'm, I'm going to watch that tonight after I watch that sitcom. I might need to cleanse my palate. Uh, name one thing you're going to... Uh, you're going to need this stupid fucking rope for. Hail FNT guess you <laughs> two as hell. God damn. There's a. Oh, uh, what the hell? What the hell was that name? Mondo. Mondo. There's a Mondo steel box special edition of that. Yeah, I got it already. I got Probably it. Probably sold out, right? Well, I had to get it on eBay and overpay for it, but it was worth it. Uh, Van Dask, Van Dask, the straight Dan Vask for forty nine ninety nine. He's been roasting the shit out of me on Twitter because I had green hair for Comic Con, uh, the year the Dark Knight came out. So those twenty, what what year did Dark Knight come out, Ryan? What year are uh, or ask? Uh, two thousand eight. Uh, yeah, two thousand eight or nine or something. Right? So not twenty. It was fifteen years ago. Two thousand five. Oh, it was way earlier than wait. Two thousand nine. Yeah. That'd be 15 years ago. 2008. 2008. 15 years ago. Yeah. There's also pictures of my hair uh, blue. Uh, there's no pictures of my hair black. That's when I legitimately was running from the cops and I dyed my hair black. That's a story nice for another day. <laughs> <laughs> um, That's a story for a book. It is. Oh, and it didn't work. <laughs> so Clearly. <laughs> clearly. Uh, oh. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yes, I had green hair. My whole crew did. My whole crew did. That's so nice. Uh, Van Das for forty nine ninety nine says, "Hail FNT crew! I'm just a small time content creator with a whalebone and a dream, looking for a shout out. I won't lie, doing so might bring you some heat. <laughs> Happy birthday to the Trump guy too, D Day." Low bra is uh is his name, right? Anyway, uh lock it in gay. <laughs> Eric John, the pizza artist, who is quite a talented fellow for $49.99. He's actually a pizza artist. Although you know what, Eric? I've never heard what your thoughts are on pineapple on pizza. Ooh. Mm. What about you, Saska sisters? Pineapple on pizza, yay or nay? Yay. Yay. Yeah, they're fucking Canadian. Yay. They're yeah. Canadian. Dude. Oh, no, Chrissy, I, I, no. Chrissy, I'm sorry to let you down. Stop it, haters. International Women's Day. Sorry. Oh. I'm heartbroken. This As you don't sick. get to clap, you haven't eaten anything good in a fucking year. <laughs> you, you, like, you have no idea what good tastes like. You're removed from any of these polls from now on. <laughs> it is, I have not had a pizza in over a year. Yeah, a year and three months. Exactly. You do months. that to a man, they'll fucking salivate over dog shit on a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Wow. Hey, hey, Az, what do you have in your freezer right now? A head? Uh, a head? Stop this, stop this <laughs> shit. It's never human head. Couple of arms, a leg. Don't say it. Let's get through an episode without saying yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, what? Well, you guys feel the need to be vegetables. that fucking edgy. I got some ice cubes. And I got some fantastic pork based products. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bit of cool. F- okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. I have so many fucking clips. Eric John Pizza Artist is the one that we were reading. Right? Yes, thank you uh, for You're keeping welcome. me focused. Yeah. But I really wanted to find that clip. <laughs> there Looking. you go. Paging Dr. Bucket. Okay, now I feel better. Good. <laughs> Eric John Pizza Artist. Hail! We need a new award show to replace the Oscars. Uh, oh, yeah, the Oscars coming this weekend. Everybody yeah. excited for it? I had no, no idea it was this no. weekend. Yeah. Uh, was watching uh, Billy Crystal's intro from no- 1991, A Man, uh, Man When It Was Good. Yes. Uh, oh, yeah. Dude, 91, though. That was a long time ago. But those days are gone. Let's go. Uh, let's get Shane Gillis to host. Let's get Chrissy Mayer to host. Yeah. Uh, it may yeah. let FNT gang pick the winners. P.S. Come to Rhode Island, Chrissy. 
She's blowing her nose. She's, she's, blowing, her nose. Nose. <laughs> she's blowing her nose for two. Timing. Rhode Island, the smallest state. I don't know. I'm kind of a size queen. I'll think about it. <laughs> Bubbles for fifty dollars. <clears throat> There once was a cat with a hungry belly. The name of the cat was Whiskers Jelly. His throat was dry and his bowl, his bowl, his bowl was bare. Meow, <laughs> me furry cats, meow. Thank you on the stream Any website. She did. We just supposed to sing that like a pirate song. I am yeah, not going to sing yay. it like a pirate song. <laughs> I cannot sing. Okay. Hey, uh, hey. Th- what the hell? Is, are those your masturbating <laughs> hands? <laughs> it's my strong hands. I won't hands. lift it with my strong arm. <laughs> Yo, hand. Der Jager for $50. I got it right. He told me to pronounce it and I got it right. Yo, hand. Der Jager. <laughs> it really rolls off the tongue. It really does. <laughs> I finally have a job to pay for this. Hail, congratulations. Love you all, except for Ryan. Uh, I agree. And I am proud to be a part of the fellowship crusading against the woke menace. (laughs) If I could find a woman like X-Ray Girl, I would be the happiest man alive. Hail! Wow. Wow. Hey, Sam. Here's good news for you. There's literally two billion people that look just like her. (laughs) Yeah. You have better odds of finding a girl that looks like X-Ray Girl than anybody else in the fucking world. (laughs) 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 It's silver lining. One Ryan (laughs) Kennel. The casual racism of Ryan. It's funny because it's true. (laughs) It is. It is. As Jeremy has said in the past, it's such a shocker that nobody uh, wants to sponsor us ever. Uh, well, and I'm, fu- I'm they, fine they with they that. Just screw you out of money. That's, well, all. that's true. That's true. Oh my god! Yeah, the, uh, I, t- I told you about the salty response I gave to Better Health because they kept on emailing me. I'm just like Pfft. something to the effect off. of "fuck off," and I'm going to tell every one of my friends to tell you to fuck off. <laughs> so fuck off. <laughs> and I got a lot of friends. Mm. Not really. It's crazy because you don't even know what the company is called. That's the second time this stream you've called it Better Health, and it's Better Health. It, it keeps Better Health, reliable. Better Health, whatever. Yeah, yeah it's not difference. better. The it's most, oh, yeah, fucking it's not health. helping you. It's <laughs> yeah, whatever. Uh, we'll Matthew Rise, unqualified person, and then sell your details. To exactly for one hundred dollars. Hell, I'll get it. Your shirt is incredible, Shad. Just ordered a copy of Shadow of the Conqueror and will read it soon. Shad, Odin, and Chat can all pray that I write fantasy novels of my own. Enjoy meeting the beautiful Sasuke sisters and X-Ray Girl at Megacon. <laughs> Legend. Megacon was crazy. That, that was, was crazy. Nuts. Yes. So it's, fun. It was a I miss it. M- miracle. Yeah, yeah. It was successful. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it, right. everything and just kind of happened to fall into place the right way. Yeah. As you're coming next year, aren't you, MegaCon? Well, I mean, depends how horny I am, but um. <laughs> so yes. <laughs> oh, I, I'm sure. That's, I mean, how many 30, 38 seconds well, can I'm, you I'm, fit into a weekend? I'm kind of I mean, I'm 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 <laughs> hoping I come before MegaCon. <laughs> Quelndar on the Streamlabs side for. Two hundred and fifty dollars. Oh, Wildar! Wow! Zack Snyder wow. looks like he. Zack Snyder looks like he just came from an episode of Cops. Bad boys, <laughs> bad boys. What you gonna do? All hail the fellowship. He did. <laughs> what you gonna do? I'm looking for you. <laughs> the mighty one for fifty dollars. Hail. Watching for years and entertained the whole time, looking for some small help. Trying to write a novel for some time and have hit a wall. Wondering if anyone knows of writing groups online as discussing uh, uh, that are discussing writing with others who could likely uh, help. Shad? Well, I think uh, if you go to George R. R. Martin's Not a Blog, there's probably <laughs> those are probably all the things you should avoid if you actually mm-hmm. want to finish your story. Um, Unfortunately, I don't really know of anything like that. I'm not a writer, so 
Yeah, it's tricky. I've never used a writing group, so I don't know how to contact one. Uh, there are some writing kind of, um, uh, you know, sections on certain Discord pages, even the Shadowverse Discord. I think there's a writing section. But, uh, you know, that that's a tricky one. If you're running into a block, uh, one of my experiences in terms of when you hit that is start writing the next chapter, not knowing what's going to happen and let the characters explore. I thought you were going to say, sometimes... I thought you were gonna say vigorously masturbate, but go on. <laughs> no, I wasn't going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you gonna I was going to say <laughs> that sometimes even what things that you ask? discover writing can actually turn out really good. And also it might give you inspiration of where to go, um, you know, to take the story. What do you think, Sask, is you're, uh, you're a couple of writers? Well, it's about to close down, but Chuck Polnick, the writer of Fight Club, has litreactor.com. And uh, for maybe like two more weeks, you can really take advantage of that. That's where I've been sending a lot of writers. But uh, they have a great writing community there, yeah. too. Yeah, it's a great community. A lot of how to's, a lot of other writers, a lot of community members. Maybe try and get into the litreactor.com community really quick before it shuts What's down. What's happening in two weeks? Is this gone? I, fi financial issues from my understanding, mm. but it stayed longer than it was supposed to. And I don't know if you've read a Chuck Palahniuk novel, but in 300 pages or less, he'll mess up your whole life with a weird, really effed up story. And he's got a good writing book called Consider This, which is everything he's ever learned, which should be helpful. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Take her 610 for $50. <laughs> Ryan. Don't forget you know of a gay test that has a coupon available if anyone on the panel or in the chat needs it because you love helping people. Also, to make it a hit, they need to call it the American Society of Magical Sydney Sweeney Grows. Hey. <laughs> you barely earned that. You barely. <laughs> a stretch. Barely earned that, but thank you for the super chat. That was basically a courteous courtesy. Grim shot. Yeah, that was a Didn't wild she... ad on my fucking Steam chart page. The are you gay test or whatever. <laughs> I, I <know. laughs> it was so fucking yeah. so stupid. I just, I just think it was there for anybody who's considering playing Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna assume you're gay. I mean, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Well, like the next one that came up was all about coupons or something. It wasn't. I don't even know who uses coupons anymore, but yeah. On Steam. Uh, everybody who's broke. So uh, <laughs> I would say Marvel writers. Does anybody click on an ad on any? Uh, well, most of you have ad block and that's good. Uh, so but... the, the thing that gets me, the thing that gets me when it comes to ads are Instagram ads. Like as I'm going through people's stories or like doing real, I see ads. Those fucking get me hooked. I don't know why. Where it I is. got this sweater. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's okay. like, it looks like a good sweater. We sneak it in so well. Too, <laughs> it's like they fucking read my shit, mind dude. and they know I like it and they see how long I like hover over it or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, no, I pass. But then they'll show it to me five more times and they know that fifth fucking time they yeah. show me that damn Instagram ad. I'm going to buy whatever fucking retarded thing it is. They conflate like uh, Mrs. Neurotics and my. So I'm getting like Sephora and uh, Sideshow Toys. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh alan hines for 49.99 love you guys and perry's performance at the opening just made me bald perry is a master yeah as, mm -hmm. he's funny as hell but when he gets serious about stuff he can like really pull the emotions that's why he's a great editorial storyteller uh, one of the best in the biz. Hail oh, Perry yeah. Chan. We love you. Although your intro for the last video, pretty damn good, Cord Black. Well done, dude. Thank you. Thank well you. done. Uh, Ask Pat's, me what I thought of it. Uh, what did you think of it? I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> Knew that was coming. Yeah, I know. Patrick Ells for $50. <laughs> I'm insulted that Ryan didn't call out Gary for st uh, stating that he watched a book on Audible. Uh, I do. I, <laughs> I, to I be honest, at him. I didn't. I didn't hear him say that. Did I but say I that? I would have fucking made fun of him if he did. So I, I deserve to be made fun of. Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> I would totally. <laughs> yeah. like if I had heard it, I would have. Hang said on, that. hang on. I need to go back. He could be gaslighting you, Gary. Don't trust uh, him. He's relying on your no. outside. Oh, you know I, what? I, I totally believe it. I would say something like that. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, Wolverine Snicked has gifted 10 neurotic memberships for $50. Hail! The members thank you. I thank you. Hail the fellowship. Quarter Black Dynamite. 
uh, on the Streamlabs side for $50. Not to be confused with quarter Dolomite. Black Dolomite. Uh, Dolomite. Ain't nothing in the world. Like a hound dog. Get quarter black dynamite. More mad than some jive ass <laughs> suck a dealing smack <laughs> to the kids. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how Quarter Black talks. Yeah, yeah. Especially when you wake him up at, at the crack of noon, you know. Oh, really? Yo, what's up, you giant turkey? Okay, Gary, do you want to talk us to us about that, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Were I'm you old... next to him at the time? No, I called him. <laughs> Just like this I morning. called you. We talked about it. You know, we have this little thing called, uh, yeah, I love, somebody asked me uh, on Twitter hey, today. Is, you, are you, you gonna... literally... You literally just heard a story about Az having to get woken up by Gary. You implying that he was fucking you as well when he did that? Yeah. <laughs> That's talent. I was on Twitter. I posted something, and somebody's like, is, is Friday Night Tights going to be on today? I'm trying to find it. Ryan, I'm trying to find out if he's cheating on me. Yeah. Always. I'm a, I'm a whore, okay? I'm a freaking whore. Uh... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Ryan's mom. <laughs> Ryan's mom for fifty dollars is being the last one. <laughs> regrettably, both reg regrettably and thankfully at the same time. Well, uh, the square. Ooh, I don't know. I'm going to do it. Probably Saturday night. I got a lot of shit to do this weekend. Uh, Saturday night. Uh, Ryan's mom for fifty dollars. Thanks, Ryan's mom. Please tell Ryan to come downstairs. Meatloaf is ready. <laughs> <laughs> Meatloaf's good. I freaking I love want meatloaf. meatloaf. No, I wanted pizza. You want a pizza? Oh, 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 so do I, mate. So do I. All right. Uh, we're going to wrap things up. This has been a fun show. Uh, thanks you to the Soska sisters for being here. Thank you for having us. Thanks for being here, and uh, let's uh, go around the horn here. Uh, we should save as for last just to annoy him, but I won't. What do you got coming up? Uh, well, look, a dream came true tonight. I always wanted to be on top of the sauce. Is that it? <laughs> uh Tomorrow, by the way, RIP to the Scots because they'll probably be crushed. So, <laughs> <laughs> massive internal bleeding, but broken bones. Oh my god! Asphyxiation. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing but love. <laughs> right with the savagery at the end there. Wonderful. Shit I'm so upset about the up. background. Yeah. yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Let it go, it, Ryan. Hey, no, 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 I'm really, so no, no, I'm really, no. I'm really sorry now that I said that. What do you yeah. want? That's how he wins. <clears throat> yes, it's how right. he uh, go fuck <laughs> This is how we move forward. Uh, tomorrow, depending on what time I get up, uh, hopefully we'll have a nice uh, day with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Sunday, uh, afternoon tea with Az, uh, Super Chat Square from the Real BBC, followed by Sunday Fun Day, followed by Oscar Party with Chris Gore. Uh, Monday, something and whatever, I don't fucking know. Uh, Tuesday, Yaira! Yaira! Yaira release on it's Monday. Monday. Yeah, 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 baby. Uh, your winter is coming way before anything that Game of Thrones is going to fucking do. And that is uh, going to release at 10 a.m. Central, which is 4 p.m. UK time. So uh, 8 Pacific, 10 Central, uh, 11 a.m. Eastern. Uh, the IRA campaign will go live. Uh, Tuesday, we'll be seeing on Gary's channel. Um, <laughs> happy International Women's Day or whatever. I don't fucking know. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, stuff, other st uh, Ripping the Silverback is going to be on. What the hell is even that? <laughs> exactly. Uh, I think it's on my channel this this coming week. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, yes, uh, yeah. Who, and then I don't fucking know. Real BBC. Remember that show? I said that. You I did? said that. Okay. Just check. Uh, but the Oscars would be on the Real BBC on the 19th. There you go. Yeah. So a week, a week yeah. on Tuesday, the Oscars will be on the Real BBC. Should I go to Chrissy now that she's off camera and muted? Yes. I totally. <laughs> I'm blowing her nose. And Chrissy. Stuff, what do you got coming up, Chrissy? <laughs> I'm totally going to have a, like, a baby in a month, and then yeah, like two days later, 
I'm he's having to pee he a bunch, headlining probably. on Friday next week. I forgot where. Oh, my gosh. Well, she'll be back to tell us. Remember that. Uh, yeah. Comics, what do you got coming up? Uh, well, I have a, another Sweet Baby Ink video I need to finish editing and recording. So I'll be working on that next. And, of course, I stream live every Monday and Thursday on my channel, 8 p.m. Central Time. And awesome. Chrissy's back. Chrissy's She's back. Done Chrissy, back. what do you got coming up? Wee! Well, Lots of it. Wow. Let's see. Simcast. That's why you is left. On... Lots Simcast... of yeah, that's... Is on... Simcast is on Sunday, uh, 9 p.m. with Hot. a bunch of people. And then uh, <laughs> Watch Spot Monday, 7 p.m. Eastern on compoundmedia.com. This Saturday, uh, tomorrow, I am presenting an award at the Grifties. <laughs> Uh, which is in our New Jersey, the Dojo of Comedy, uh, Tiff's Ale House. Uh, this is going to the doctor. Thursday, I'm not going to... a baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Wednesday, I'll be doing pelvic exercises. Um, Thursday, I'm doing oh. Quite quite Frankly, which is Frank Valbiro's podcast. Oh, do, 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 do. And then March 22nd, I'll be headlining doing my last pregnant show in Grantville, Pennsylvania. It's near Hershey uh, at the Laughing Stock Comedy Club. And you can get tickets on my website, chrissymayer.com. Thank you. Brilliant. Thanks, Chrissy. Uh, Carter Black. Hey, this week on Normal World was pretty fun. We had Chris Gore and Alan Ng on. And then we had Jared Monroe, a good friend of mine. Uh, uh, not, gay not, not gay Jared. Not gay Jared. Not gay Jared. Yes. Not, not gay Jared, not no more. Uh, he, uh, he's also re releasing a, a podcast. It's pretty cool. Uh, this week, returning Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Normal you had, World. You had Parker, Parker Lewis on today. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah that was today because we had the... Uh, the State of the Union or something happened yesterday. I don't know. I don't watch that shit. Uh, Sunday know. Fun Day, <laughs> as me, X-Ray Girl, and Kara are going to be playing, I don't know, hopefully some more Helldivers. I, I think Helldivers. Yeah, yeah. That was, yeah, Helldivers. It yeah, was yeah. good. It's really good. So uh, we're going to have some fun with that in Forbidden Frontier on Sunday. With That's our 50th episode. With our 50th episode. Mike Barrow. With Mike Barrow. Mike oh, Barrow from yeah. Ancient Aliens. Yeah. Hmm. Not 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 that guy from Ancient Aliens. Yeah. No, a different Mike. Mike, Mike Barra from no no not Giorgio Sukolov. Not Giorgio. No, Mike Barra. The guy cool. that followed one you of the crew and followed you. Yeah, yeah. The the guy That's who I, and he, dude, he's not the first one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> I can't even tell you, man. I wish <laughs> I could tell you. So many people are like I had to. I had. I'm sorry. I had to unfollow you on Twitter. But out of that. I might be working. Yeah. I might be working somewhere where you've been very critical. <laughs> so, <laughs> it happens. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Mike Barra. Awesome. 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 Mike Barra. Awesome. Five O. Oh. Yep. Uh, oh. Shad. What's up? You're asking me that. Okay. Mm. So, uh, Night's Watch as usual. But if, if people haven't noticed, like the content of Night's Watch, we've been ramping up. We've been pumping it out. Uh, nearly, you know, doing nearly doing daily, except maybe we take Sunday. You know, skip that. But uh, yeah, so there's heaps of content on Night's Watch. We're tracking a lot of what's happening, of course, with the Sweet Baby Ink stuff, the Game of Gate 2 stuff, uh, but also other stuff, uh, you know, the the revelation with Audible and what Brandon Sanderson did. There's also going to be a bit of a uh, bit of a, an announcement kind of video where I get blackpilled on something, and that's coming out soon as well. And so... That's a, Don't get black a to, Never go full black pill, yeah. I mean, well, yeah, I, I admit, I admit something quite earth shattering. That's going to be coming out soon on Night's Watch. So people have AI is lame okay. and gay. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not saying what it is. As you got to oh, okay. fight, mate. Okay. Oh, yeah. you tease. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. 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 And uh, and then of course Shadowversity. We are making like just heaps of fun content on that and that's not political stuff it's just heaps fun pop culture stuff still going strong and so uh, uh last video did we test out a kevlar shield an actual shield made out of real kevlar to see if uh we can punch through it with some swords and stuff so heaps Sick. of fun on that. cool yeah. <laughs> and uh all, all the content and then my other projects but that's what i'm doing awesome thanks Fighting on twitter. excellent follow, follow on twitter. cool don't follow shad on twitter it's follow called twitter. x it's called X. <laughs> What's up, X-ray girl? Could do more uh, yeah, squats tomorrow, on the stream. 
for Super Chats? I, yeah, I'm going to do squats. I'm going to tell you um, that. Even though my legs are com <laughs> completely destroyed after today's workout. But um, yeah, I'm going to be playing Rebirth tomorrow during the day. Uh, Saucy Saturdays on Wicked Virtue's channel with myself, Wicked Virtue, and Disparu at 8 p.m. Um, I think everything else that I'm doing is pretty much stated. Uh, I will be watching three episodes of Torchwood next week and reviewing it, I think, on my channel. So are you on what season are you on? What season are you on? <laughs> the first one. So we're wanting okay. uh, we want to complete the full season of Torchwood before episode 10 of Doctor yes. Who. Yeah. yeah. Um, just so that, I, you know, the box, it's kind of telling. OK, it is. I know who's coming into the show. Well, ju just just <laughs> wait. Just wait until you hit Canadian season Internet. three of Torchwood, and you'll see, like, quality-wise, it jumps into the stratosphere as far as, like, well, I mean, I love that things. show so much. Every, Just so you know, extra girl, your, your camera's blurry as fuck. No one could see anything you fucking showed. Your oh, internet must be I mean, like three Captain, bits Jack, right yeah, Captain Jack is your on the Doctor Who. Internet. She's underwater. Yeah. No. Whoever's tuning in to watch you do squats is gonna be really fucking disappointed if you have that. <laughs> no, I blame Trudeau. Okay. Yeah, it's it's He's Canadian healthcare internet. Okay. You got yeah. booty sweat on your camera. Yeah. You look probably, like you're in a North oh Korean God. holiday camp. It you probably know? doesn't look as bad on your side because you're squinting at it. Oh. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> Ryan is just taking oh. like taking oh, shots on the way out. It's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What did you eat today or like drink? Not, not enough. Drink. That's probably yeah, the problem. Yeah, that's why I'm hungry. A bigot sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> He's hungry. No, he had a, a bigot egg and cheese. <laughs> hey, wait. I got, I got, <laughs> the S, got the, you guys, I got that reference from Last of Us yeah. 2. I got, got that it. reference. You got it. Well done. Well done. That's right. He's a gamer yes. I understood that. Okay. Thanks, X Ray Girl. Your time's up. Uh, <laughs> Ryan, wow. what do you got coming up? That's uh, what they said in North Korea. Same as usual, just grinding out videos. I got my stream on Sunday, Sports Wars on Sunday, G and G Daily every Monday through Friday at eleven Eastern. And Star Grift, I guess, on Star Wars Theory's channel with me and Mahler and Star Wars Theory. So talking about, about it, bad batch. How exciting! I loved, I loved that Star Wars named. I, I loved how <laughs> Star Wars conversation is now. You guys talking about a dog entering a bar? That's all I caught, and I'm like, what the fuck? This is Star Wars now. Dog. Well, that dog entering the bar is pretty important to what happens later on. So yeah. Oh, okay. Really? Oh, is, is it, it really? my dinner coming into the? It bar? is because oh! the dog. Oh God! Wow. It is because the dog is because the dog is forced to leave the bar. And the person just leaves the dog outside, and the dog gets kidnapped, and they go to save the dog, which is the entire impetus for the episode. So it is kind of important that that. And dog that's how Palpatine came oh. back. So that's copying, what the show's going to uh, explain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. okay, gotcha. Okay. Good, gotcha. So they, yeah, they watched Cowboy Bebop Thanks, and went, "Oh yeah, let's save do the dog. Uh, okay, What do you have coming up, Saska sisters? I mean, aside from a comic, do you have anything else going on? Uh, we do. We made a sequel to Night of the Living Dead called Festival of the Living Dead that will be released some point this year, but I don't know when. Yeah, you haven't told me. <laughs> we made it with the George A. Romero Foundation. And, oh, wow. Uh, some nice. of you may or may not know that George has passed. So that was, and we've already remade a Cronenberg film, Rabid. Yeah. And it was very important for us to do the film the way George would have yeah. wanted. Hell and yeah. there's a lot of fighting with people to be like, George would have never done that. He would have never done that. And yeah, it was a, a burden of love and it's a really kick-ass movie. I can't wait for it to come out. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is the director, the actors, once the studio or the distributor has your movie, who the hell knows what happens? Like, <laughs> I can't tell you how many times me or a friend of mine have been watching a cut and it's been changed from what the edit was. And we just have to sit there and be really like kind about it and then promote the movie while it's like, hey, we uh, cut parts of your kid off. Uh, but don't worry about Festival of Living Dead. It's all there. It's intact. You it's know, like it's it's stayed and there's some stuff that's a little bit risque in it and I'm glad that it, it, it ended up there and check back with me in six months. I might say something different. Yeah, <laughs> and this Monday, Yaira. This Monday, lots of Yaira stuff. Do not miss it. We'll be online all day. Talk to us. We're lonely people. Oh yeah, and it'll be really <laughs> hard to miss Yaira because she's going to be effing everywhere. Yes, please retweet. Yeah, awesome. thank oh, you. And we thank will. you for... Um, 
giving a book written by a couple of females a chance. I, sure. I know that. Don't think about that. They're just twins, just yeah. twins. But yeah. our gender has really done stuff to not ingratiate. So I am saying this is for men. Like I know this you've been told for, it's not for, you. for the dudes, guys. Yaris for everybody. <laughs> everybody uh yeah and if someone says otherwise you know they can go to hell but yeah this is definitely for guys i remember liking attractive men as a comic book reader so yeah attractive women good it's okay you can like it and you can say she's attractive that's okay no one's gonna get mad at you no we won't get mad. does she have tits yes she Big does titties. <laughs> she does there. Titties. Yay. Okay. There, there, there. there you go <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's right there. Right there. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. There you go. That was like a welcome and everything. (laughs) International Women's Day, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. (laughs) Good luck following that. Oh, yeah, Ira. She got tits. Yeah, she got tits. (laughs) Big ass movies. It's working uh, out for Sydney Sweeney, so yeah, mm-hmm. quite well. Yeah, yeah, her career is blowing up like her. Tits. So is a bra. Yeah. <laughs> um, did it, did she single handedly raise the like, like the uh, viewership? Dude, I think you need two hands. Just, never not yeah. single handed. She single handedly yeah. raised the viewership double, of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> single handedly raised <laughs> some stuff. Is that double handedly? Yeah, <laughs> she did. Uh, all right, hey. Uh, what do I have coming up? Uh, unsubscribe podcast, donut operator going there tomorrow. We're going to do a show. Oh, We're going to yeah. record something. I don't know when it's coming out, but uh, it's going to be rad. Um, bunch of streaming on se- Sunday. Don't know how I'm going to do it all, but we'll we'll I know. figure it out. I know. Dude, lots of streamings. But I'll be, I'll, I'll Forbidden Frontier for sure. I, I'm supposed to be on George. I guess George got Dean Kane on uh, George Giant Slayer. So there's that. There's Forbidden uh, Frontier with Mike Barrett and then with Chris Gore and Film Threat doing our Oscar show. And it's the only way I'd ever watch the Oscars. I don't care who wins. I don't give a shit. A, a Godzilla minus one just better win. That's the only one I give a mm. fuck about. Yeah. Um, but yeah. then roasting it will be fun. Isn't Jimmy Kimmel the host again? Oh, yes. I think so. yes. Oh, yes. It's going to be painful. I know. Do you fucking believe it? They, <sighs> like they brought this fucking again. Jimmy Kimmel, dude. Jimmy fucking Kimmel. So it's going to be crap, and they're going to bitch about Trump, and uh, that's what they'll do. That's what I they'll just do. want Ricky Gervais to come back and host one of these award shows again so we can rip Dude, them all. we had the one. formula. Ricky Gervais, Dave yeah. Chappelle, roasting everybody who wins. Exactly. And every yeah, nominee, man. and roasting the fuck out of them. I, uh, I would tune in. I would watch then. There, yeah. oh, well, there's a whole panel. You could get just the, the old roasting panel from Comedy Central when it was good. You know, yeah. there's a, a lot of very good comedians out there. Get Kurt Metzger out there. He'll roast the fuck out of you. Oh, yeah, Jim yeah, Florentine, yeah. Florentine, he'll roast the fuck out of oh. you. He's, oh, God. Did you see his Obama scared. stuff? Yes. Oh, my God. I, I was dying laughing with that. <laughs> Spoiler alert. He doesn't die, just like Jeffrey Epstein. Look, I know he's your friend. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's your friend. <laughs> your friend. It was your friend. It was your friend. He's your friend. He's your friend. He's your friend. He's your okay. friend. Yeah, don't get mad I at me. Yeah. Gervais is fucking I, I, awesome, I, I, man. Yeah, that Legendary. was a, that's that's the greatest uh, monologue ever, like of yeah. any yeah. award show. Thank great. you, God, ever. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I've watched it uh, fifty times. I, it oh. never gets old. It never no. gets old. So yeah, got that. And then there's something Monday. There's something Monday. I I can't. Talk. I'll, I'll tell you on Twitter as soon as I'm allowed. But uh, kind of big, kind of a big deal. Bigger Thanks. than the Ira? Uh, no, but. Uh, <laughs> Stay out of Monday, man. Stay out of my Monday. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it's Monday. I had no choice in that matter. But uh, yeah, it's not my place to say right now. But I'll let you know as soon as possible. It is kind of big. Well, it's big for me. So congratulations. Thank congratulations. you. Thank you. There's, there's another YouTuber out there I have to thank. But if I blab that, then people will know. So thank yeah. that other YouTuber knows who they are. Thank you. Uh, we'll be back next week with. That's your QX Clifton right Duncan. Clifton! Yay! Yay! Oh, it's about time. It's way overdue. Nice. Mm-hmm. And we heard you out there. We're trying to we're trying to get Gundam oh. back on. Oh. Uh, we're gonna get Metzger back on. But Clifton Duncan, like, uh, is 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 perfect for next Friday. How did you <laughs> ask him? How did you ask him? Because uh, hey, we're gonna review the American Society of Magical <laughs> Negroes, Mr. <laughs> Black Man. You want to come on the show? <laughs> <laughs>
he's, he's going to fill that role for us. He's going to be our magical person. So, so, so when X-Ray Girl brought it up, that's, that was exactly my question. I'm like, on the one hand, he has to be on this show. On the <laughs> other hand, I'm going to sound like a total fu- Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no, going to say yes. I'm back when we do Black Panther show. three. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's that's why that's what, when I asked Eric to record that American Society of Magical Negroes, I'm like, on one hand it's funny, on the other hand it's gonna look like I'm a fucking racist <laughs> piece shit. But whatever, people think that already. I don't hey, care. You gotta you, commit you to get the bit. Used to it. Commit mm-hmm. to Lean the bit. It. Okay. <laughs> that's right. Watch our okay. video that just came out yesterday on Neurotic. Go oh, yeah, thanks. Uh, appreciate that. And uh, we will. We want to thank all the Modrotics. Thanks to everyone who left a Super Chat and donation. You help keep the lights on. The Square Up will be sometime this weekend. I will, I'll invent more hours in the day. Uh, <laughs> and uh, until next time, thanks, everybody. Ciao. Bye. Bye, Bye. 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 Yeah. Bye guys. Bye. Love you. God damn, Gary. Some serious gourmet sh- What flavor is this? That's right, it's the all hell medium roast private blend. Check out the Geek Grind Coffee Nerdrotic page for our other options like the Decadent, Feathers of Liberty, Vanilla Infused Flavored Coffee. Or if you're looking for something darker, try the Dark Roast FNT Blend of the Fellowship. You know what? Just buy all three. GeekGrindCoffee.com. Use discount code Nerdrotic. <laughs>
Do not come. Do not come. I'm going to come.